Are we echoing? Are we echoing? Uh, echo. echo! Hey, what's up, Mo? Pretty hoes! What's up, Mo? What's going on? Oh, oh, Troubleshoot! Trouble yeah, I just can't call it. Echo. 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 I didn't feel like drawing. I'm just going to tell that's bad. That's not me. I tried to draw on your coat, but this part was like very, like, 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 grayish. I wanted to get in like the yellow. I'm tired of you. I don't know. I'm sorry. That's crazy. That's crazy. I was, I, like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I don't know. You drew, you drew, you drew me before, before though. though. I have, I have actually. actually. You, you said, you said, said a, a fucking reference. reference. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, drugs. Yeah, yeah. Show, 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 show. We're moving now. I'm a little, a little laggy, laggy over here. here. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, that shit's weird as fuck. This camera, computer does not like that camera for some reason. Join. God damn it, get the drugs. Be the drugs. But you, you know what? True, true. I don't, I don't even, even do, drugs. do drugs. They just they tip me right. and then I do Let me see. Yeah, drugs is the devil. Yo. Oh, yeah, we are echoing. All right, y'all Hello? Good now. Which, 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 All right. So, welcome. We're here. Uh, this is now an episode. Uh-oh. And we are here now with another episode of, I guess it's Paying With Friends or it's just something. And it's definitely I'm painting. You he can paint if he wants to paint. He don't look like he got any painting materials near him, bro. Well that's his I fault. I don't have any paint. You know where he was coming on? It is my fault. <laughs> He's right. Damn, bro. You gonna come in our game? Like but he knows. He watched the show. No, he don't. I watched the show. I know, I know what goes down. Cap. He be he be in the he be in the PlayStation. Bro. I be I dead be chatting. I dead be chatting, right? But now nah, welcome, chatting. man. Welcome to everybody that mm-hmm. don't know. Uh, this is a, a homie that Behind I met camera. that I know for quite some time. I've known him since like I know what I'm doing. Fucking, man. I don't know, bro. I've known this nigga for a long time. Aaron's over there, but he is uh, a, a a really good MC artist that I've met for quite that I've known, and um, I never met him personally actually, which is crazy. But it's still wild to the fact that no matter how long. We've known each other. I know I keep talking about that, but it's just kind of wild to me how connections really go when you meet somebody on the you. internet. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a good friend of mine. His name is Dope Is Vay. Welcome, Dope Is Vay. Crowd goes wild. What's up? What's up? What's up, people? Thank you for having me. Yeah. Much, much, much appreciated. No problem, bro. No problem at all, man. For anybody that don't know, man, tell them a little bit about yourself. Where you from? What you do? Et cetera. Gotcha. Et cetera. You know, my name is uh, Dobis Vey. You know, I'm from upstate New York, so not New York City. You know, upstate Albany, capital area region towards the west. What is that? You know, what does that mean? Um, he just told you. What? Yeah, it's like, you know, everyone thinks you say you're from New York, they automatically assume New York City. It's like, nah, there's a whole, there's a whole other state over here. And I'm part of that, part of that state. Is it like close? How far away from New York City is it? About two hours. Uh, so it's like imaginary. About two hours. <laughs> you, can, you can say that's like Narnia. You know okay, gotcha. Go is, it, is it close to Buffalo? Yeah, no, we're actually further from Buffalo. Buffalo's like five hours Holy west shit. of us. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, but I mean, um, you know, it's, it's that, that's where I'm from. You know, um, a little bit about myself. I make music. I am a very... Uh, I like to think good MC, as Rex likes to say. I like to, I think I'm a very good producer. Um, I've been doing this shit for like at least like 12 plus years at this point. Um, you know, I do a little bit of everything. Uh, you know, uh, editing, film, and stuff. I went to school for it. Uh, you know, so I really appreciate what you guys do with everything from the show to this. Uh, you know, I uh, very positive, very funny, head ass person. I do Twitch as well. Uh, you know, dope is Vay everywhere. D O P E I S V A Y. I don't really have a good streaming schedule because, uh, you know, life happens. But you know, um, yeah, that's me. I'm fun, happy guy. Glad to be here. Glad to be, uh, you know, yeah. in the presence of some, uh, some creatives. Yeah, most def, bro. I just posted your links too in the chat, so yeah. Well, good looks. I definitely will do that too. Ooh, what's up, Ping? Yo, it's great to have you on, Vay. This is the first. I'm like, I'm like very excited. This is fucking awesome. Tell me, where are you sitting right now? Where, where are you at? I'm at my homie's kitchen. So like, we uh, we uh, pulled up on my homie Jimmy. We always come here to record. 
Uh, and literally, we're working on a song right now. I did my shit. I did the hook. And then, you know, I was like, I got to step out. I got to do this interview with the homies. So they're literally in there doing doubles and ad-libs. I don't know if you can hear them. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm in my homie Jimmy's kitchen. This is, is like the 4K? hyperbolic time zone. Is that who that is? Is that, uh, is that who you that know? is, Vay? Is, is Jimmy 4K? What's good, DJ Press What? What's good, DJ Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gorman 4K. Yeah, that's Jimmy. Okay, okay. Is, is Old Man there as well? yeah. Old man, yeah, old man's here. He might, yeah. Old man, old man, Sippin's in here. He's in there working, doing the engineering, working yeah. the laptop. Does he have? <laughs> does he have on the wig? Uh, probably. He had probably has the wig with him. But I don't think he has on the wig right now. <laughs> when I left wig, the room, the wig he, wasn't out yet. Yeah, a little later in the interview, if you don't mind, we can ask them some questions a little later. This is about oh, two right nah, now. Oh, yeah, right? definitely. Yeah, nah, cool. of course they definitely would. Yeah. You know what I'm saying we can definitely do that. Um, I think they'll like it, but yeah, for anybody that just pulled up, this is do- this is Vay, dope as Vay, as I mentioned. I talk about him quite a lot, so if you've seen him in some of the streams, he streams himself. He just dropped a project called Fear None, Conquer All, literally last night. Give me 20 minutes. Yeah, give me so, 20 minutes of your time. Mm-hmm. And, and I think you'll enjoy it. You know what I mean. So, well, I'll post a link to that as well. So on SoundCloud. So if anybody in here, well, everybody in here, please do me a favor and check it out. Um, I do also have a song on there called Big World. If you have not heard that song, Big World's a really good song. Yeah, and uh, thank you. What's uh, up, Ryan? We really do appreciate everybody that's in here. So yeah, this is that's the link to this project. Fear not, conquer all. It's gonna be on all platforms really soon. But you know how some of these. Places do. They take their time when they do that shit. So, but it'll be up soon. But in the meantime, he does have a lot of material on Apple Music, Spotify, any fucking place you can pretty much go. So many platforms. Once again, dope is Vay. Dope, uh, dope, yes. Dope is, yeah. Yes. Oh, he's on Apple Music. Yes, press play. He is. So, so give him a follow. Uh, Ryan definitely. Uh, Ryan always um, is bumping all of our music. So, Ryan, whenever you start posting your shit, you can start posting some of Vay's shit too. Uh, really appreciate it, but yeah, man. Um, besides that, so we are gonna, you know, kind of get into like some some questions. I'm gonna try to make this a lot more fun since I've known you personally for some time. Mm-hmm. Uh, first yeah, and man. Foremost, man, where did the name come from? Dope is Vay. All right. Yeah. So yeah, this is this is this is great. So when I went, when I first started rapping, it was like at an awkward phase in my life. I was mad edgy, <laughs> and I fucking wanted to like try to be like dark and brooding. So the shit was originally like C Vader. Like I was like going off of like you ever play um <laughs> The Force Unleashed? Yeah, of course. I was I was trying to go off of like a Star Killer persona, like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, if yeah. my first mixtape was gonna be called like a dark apprentice or some shit. <laughs> so <laughs> fucking I didn't rap about I didn't the, the rap name didn't fit the rap style. Yeah. So literally like I went through like I was like cycling like that. So I'm a cool, but very funny collective you know, dope person. People enjoy being around me. So I was like, they, I kept the they, like the they, the Vader or the they part. So I was like, all right, cool. They cool. They cool works. Mm. And dope is they was like another way of just saying they cool, but like backwards, I guess, you know? Um, so that was the Twitter name for the longest, but it was they cool was the rap name, which you probably remember that, that phase. Yeah, 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 I do. Um, I do. And then, you know, at a point when like, I started like mature with my music and like, I couldn't really, like, I was, you know, I'm always going to throw anime bars and stuff in there. But, like, at this point, you know, I'm 30. Niggas want to hear grown man shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, at the point of, like, maturing with my music, I still wanted to be, you know, that cool, calm, and collective person. But, like, I needed, like, that roughness to me. So, like, Dope is Vay. I was inspired by, I think, Dom Kennedy's Twitter name, which is Dope, it's Dom. So, I was like, hey, Dope is Vay. That's my Twitter name. Might as well just run with that as the whole rap name and a persona. So, it just fits. It fits me, fits who I am. You know, if you ever had the opportunity, any of y'all, to be in like the PS party with me, you know, I'm all about the good vibes. I'm, I'm, I'm always cracking jokes and being a head ass, you know, so it just fits who I am and it works perfectly, you know, with the music and everything. They said, Ping said Gengar is on my playlist now. So, I said, uh, say hi to Pops for me. Yeah. Thank you. Much yeah, appreciated. Nah, that's, that's I like lit, bro. Gengar was a fun one. Yeah, that's Gengar that's was lit, a fun bro. one. <laughs> What, um, so also with that, so, you know, of course, I got to kind of slowly start getting into, I'm going to get into the, the basic questions and start going, getting a little bit more mm. familiar with it. Uh, who yeah. are some of your influence musically? Musically? Yeah. Shit. We got, Shit. like, so, like, if you want to get, like, 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 real meaningful music, like Frank Sinatra, Stevie Wonder, 
know what I'm saying? Just like the classiness of it all. Like the, how they were so classy with the way they were describing what they were talking about. You know what I'm saying? It made you feel yeah. it. Then you go like, like you know, our generation, like Soldier Boy, definitely. Ludacris. <laughs> uh, fucking Lil Wayne, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Mickey, Mickey Fax. Mickey is a Fax. big one. So slick, Mickey man. Fax is a big one. Like he, he, the way he like he, he strings his bars. Uh, currency, obviously, that's like the Don. Uh, shit, like, um, Big Sean. I love Big Sean. Uh, Esper- uh, uh Rage Against the Machine in the sense of catchiness oh, of yeah. their songs. Oh, you know what I'm God. saying? Like they, they, they mastered like making a song memorable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the repetitiveness of it. Um, and then like even oh, this generation, shit. like I, I fucking that love Super sense. BWE. Huh? That makes sense. Like I don't mean to interrupt you, but that makes sense because you said the repetitive, the repetitive, repetitiveness of it. That I noticed that some like choruses that you do, especially on the song. Yeah. Um. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Hold on. Uh. Father features. I was listening to that earlier. Oh, yeah. I noticed that you was repeating the chorus over and over again. Is that kind of like a yeah? Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's like an inspiration from that. Like when they do it, like um, calm like a bomb. And then, like, they just repeat, yeah. ignite, 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 you know, stuff like that. Like, little things that just, like, will stand out to you. So, like, I'll do that. Like, like I'll, like, repeat, like, uh, like the phrase of the, the, the title of the song. I'll find a way to incorporate that as much as possible throughout the track. So, you know, like, like that's father's like, That's a song. That's not me just snapping. Like, I'm trying to, like, make a song here. You know what I'm saying? Like, people can, like, something memorable. That's lit, bro. I like that. I like that. That's cool, bro. You, you definitely yeah, some influences I was not expecting. Yeah. You never yeah. know. You never know. You just never know. Because like, sometimes, like, the other day I was in Ryan's stream, and Ryan was like, I said, um, there's an artist, like an 80s artist, late 70s, early 80s, by the name of Kate Bush. And then Ryan was like, I would have not expected that from you. And I was like, yeah, man. It's like, you know, you just never know what people listen to, bro, until you actually have yeah, a conversation bro. with them. Yeah. I get most you of my never know what, what the- up, so I know. <laughs> what? Hey, sure. yo. Okay. okay. What? Um moving on. Uh yeah. So <laughs> with that, you said that you did mention your age and you said people want to hear like grown man shit. But mm. oh, hold on one second. Somebody's quoting you. Um Mo said I'm a deaf bump this. Ping said I'm gonna put my brother and cousins on. One of your music because this is Death Fire. Pink said, All I'm gonna say is it's a big ocean with a lot of fish, it just takes time. Yeah, I pre- we appreciate the word. That. So, yeah, I do appreciate all of that. Thank you, that means yeah, so much man. to me. Like, real talk, yeah, yeah. No, it, it, it does because, like, I know, like, I, I always say, like, me and you always has the in depth conversations how, like, we feel like our music should be like in a better category, mm-hmm. but we also say yeah. to ourselves that it's like, you know, um. We got to keep pushing ourselves and keep networking with the right people, bro. Because, like, if we keep doing it, like, it, it, people going to understand. Because the quality's there. It's not like the quality's mm-hmm. not there. Um, it does It does take time, bro. And and, and I listen to that chorus a lot because it, it really is a lot in depth with it than just being a rap chorus. You know what I mean? So yep. It makes a lot sense, of bro. things I'm saying, like, I'm trying to drop gems subtly. Facts. That's a whole fact. This is crazy, man. This is fucking crazy. You this, got this, this nigga is a on moment. camera. Nigga, we doing it, son. We doing it, bro. Like, what's moment. going on, This bro? shit right here is... You like, know what I'm saying? Make sure you got fiber in your diet. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to people who, who fucking got extra Band-Aids in their cabinets. I support your lifestyle. I feel you. Yeah, Keep yeah. them Band-Aids on deck, little bitch. Keep and them Band-Aids. Always. You never know what I might get. <laughs> he literally got some. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Uh, went on Spotify... Well, Ryan, I will say, I don't want to answer for him, but I kind of am going to answer for him. When it go comes ahead, to ahead. submitting projects on Spotify and Apple, it just, we're just we just wait on their approval. That's really all it is. It'll so, be up there yeah, tonight. It'll be up there soon. tonight. We're gonna Honestly, put up yo, to, 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 to like, to like, cut you, like, I, I, ha- I set it up so it could go live to like yesterday at 12, 12 a.m., today at 12 a.m. And then like, literally, I went to the website to find out why it didn't go live. It was because of two tracks. I didn't like link them properly because they were already on iTunes. So like oh. they were like, you know, flagged. So I had to go back in and redo it and link them properly so that it was like these are these are the singles, but the views and the listens carried over to the actual project. Got you. Got yeah. You. So that's why I went. 
So it should be up. If not, like tonight, you know, sometime during the week, I'll definitely let like, people know. Everyone's yeah. gonna know the second it is. I'll post the link. Uh, uh, post the link as many times as I can. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm here for, man. We uh, it's crazy because literally, like how we dropped the to the songs in tandem. Like I dropped Buck Buck, and then you drop your project after that, and it's like mm-hmm. that just shows like the connection of like what niggas is trying to accomplish at this time. Excuse me. I like me. to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it just because like it's like that. you got things to fucking promote. You know what I mean? Like right now, yeah. the only thing that I, I just want for everybody is just just the connection, bro. Like that's it. Like I just want everybody to mm-hmm. really show love to each other, bro. And and, and you know, when you get a chance, like post a nigga link here and there. Like you ain't got to fucking do it mm-hmm. every now, like every single fucking day. But, but it's know, like, you on, you on social media, why not build big up, you know, your homies? You know, right. what else you doing on there? Looking at ass, like. Uh, you yeah. can do that and then post the link, you know? Exactly. Why you beat off to Two ass? Seconds. Like, sh- listen to your homie's music, too. Like, come on. Real, real talk. Exactly, guys. Exactly. exactly. Music is playing in the back, though. Nah, so, do that. No. Support. That's weird. <laughs> okay, I, I follow a lot of, like, artists and stuff, and even if I'm not a big fan of what they created at that moment, I'll still like and share it. Yeah, just some, like, like, they put a lot of work into it. It's not that it's bad yeah. like it's good it's just i don't like it at the moment yeah. but still like yeah. they need to they need to shine show show some fucking support yeah, that's all i was Dang. i was in popeye's saturday um after like a trip for my job and i was waiting in line it was a crazy line some dude literally talking talking with me the whole time in line come to find out he's an author and he had a book he was selling basically on how to travel the world He's been to like mad countries in like the span of like the past like three years. It's crazy. Mm. He asked me to buy his book. And, like I already connected with him as a person. And I was like, "Fuck yeah, I'll buy you." I'm saying you gotta support, you gotta support the people out there trying to do trying trying. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot to try out here nowadays. That's a fact. That's a whole fact, bro. Because you never know. You never know. Um. So we got some questions here. A lot uh, of questions. Press okay. play said, "Stay strapped with them band aids." Uh, Pink said, "Always <laughs> press play." How how is everyone doing today? I want to know something y'all did today. Well, since we're interviewing uh, Vay, what did you do today, Vay? Uh, I woke up right, woke, up, took a shower, brushed. No, I didn't do that. I'm trying to keep it, trying to keep it, you know, the tension up for tomorrow. I got a pussy appointment. Um, okay, okay. But fucking brushed my hair. Uh, you know, made a made a good breakfast, and then I worked on a beat. Right, literally. For like two hours, and I linked up with my cousin. So okay. it's been a very semi-productive. That's my day off. Normally, I'd be like chasing kids around at this point, screaming at them, you know, telling them to stop trying to fucking punch Susie for the blue crayon. There's more blue crayons. Yeah, that was me yesterday. I saw that. Yeah, man, that's my life. That's what I did today. What'd you do today, Ping? Yeah. Question posted. Do? Respond. Respond with the answer. He said, I had to go for a walk during class today in math. I'm guessing somebody pissed you off, Ping. Ping don't be listening. Ping hard-headed as fuck. <laughs> Ping is kind of hard-headed. Yeah, he is. I got to be better about putting people's music out. I mean, look, Mo, the best thing is is that we set this interview up specifically because, you know, it's 13 people in the in the stream right now. Shout, Shout out to everybody ever. that's man, in here, come man. Come on, man. Uh, once first, again, man. I'm going to post this nigga's link. Um, this is dope as Vey as well. Uh, how much time you spend brushing your hair? That's a good question. Um, honestly, like if I'm it showering, the whole ninja. shower. You know, I, I got a specific brush for the shower. Um, but literally twenty minutes. But that's like, it's like a it's a science now. Like if I'm if I'm doing something, I'm brushing my hair. Like obviously, if I'm brushing my teeth, I'm not brushing my hair. Mm-hmm. But like, I'm brushing. Whether if I'm in the bathroom for the twenty minutes I'm in there for, I'm brushing my hair. I'm doing everything else. Taking a shit, taking a piss. Not washing my hands, obviously. But yeah. yeah. You gotta take care of your shit, bro. Like, niggas be thinking shit sweet. I'm like, bro. Nah, nah, man. You're five with, with, with bald spots in your hair, man. Like, mm, you know what I mean? What? I just have, have like half your hair all just fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> just like, ah, oh, damn. Just gone. Damn, what happened? For not taking that fuck? extra time. What the fuck happened? <laughs> So what? Let hold. Let's catch up with the stream. I comb my hair every saying. fucking day just so it doesn't like tangle up and get all like shitty and natty like fucking exactly. hippie white people. I feel that. Oh man. Uh, no, I was having a mental breakdown and didn't want to cry in class. That that's weak shit. Oh no, I had a dentist appointment today. Exciting times. Dentist. Well, I hope you're doing better, Ping. That's why you're here now. You know, listen to some of uh, 
Vase music, hopefully it'll make you feel a lot better, and man. Seriously. Big and world is for everybody. No mental breakdowns over no bitch and your your account's still on negative. Cause I'll be very not cash money of you, my G. <laughs> you got any questions for Vay, bro? Yeah, I have so many fucking questions for Vay. You don't understand how many questions I have for this guy. All right. I'm asking questions, man. What is the community like? What is the artist community like where you live? So when I first started, we didn't really have one. Like there, it was one here. But I didn't really know about it. And like when I like, like now it's strong. It's strong. Um, we have like it's like you know there's clicks obviously, and the clicks that are like it's like a click doing like something specifically strong in one area with their brand. So like one person has like like their shows are lit like because they put on like an amazing performance. There's another click that has like the merch game on lock, and they have like a front head who's doing music, and like the merch game is like his is his plug into everything. So that's why he's like a strong top tier opponent in the rap game up here. You got the old heads who like just got the funds to like shoot their videos outside their mom's house with the homies cars mad quick. No no type of effects, no creativity. But they're just flooding the streets with remixes. You know what I'm saying? You got it's it's a diverse collective. And I feel like it's also because we're so close to the city that we kind of feel like we're part of the city. Cause there's towns where like that are like forty five minutes away from the city and they, they people like would tell you like no we're part of the city and it's like no you're literally that direction so i feel like because we're so close to the city like we take on the the charisma that they have so like our yeah. like underground scene though it's not as known it's flourishing like we have um, my homie shane actually owns a loft and they have like loft parties every oh, weekend cool. night where these artists are like performing shit um i haven't yet because i'm always but like you know like if i could I, I you know i'd definitely be open to doing that um, so, I mean, it's definitely a growing thing. Um, you know, we have a lot more artists, like rappers here. Like, we have a lot of, like, you know, creatives, like, visually photographers, uh, you know, guys who do intimate photos. Like, we have, like a, like, a lot of women, like, looking to, like, shoot, like, intimate pictures. And, like, that shit is, like, a whole avenue. It's it's crazy out here, though. The scene, is it's flourishing. And I feel like if we all lose the crab in the bucket mentality, which I kind of see happening... Um, it definitely could be good for what's to come in the future because we have a lot of artists that are like starting to like jump out to like Cali and like getting buzz. So I feel like if we could just hold it down here, or like if we have get more cho choice few artists out, it could definitely be good for the scene itself. It's a flourishing thing. It's growing. It's, it's and it's adolescence. I I like that is amazing. Like you have like um. Knowing an artist's, like, surrounding definitely allows you to get, like, a bigger picture onto who that artist is himself because you get to see, like, their base influences. And it seems like you're around so much art that that's very fucking mm -hmm. inspiring. And, like, it seems like a very yeah. good community, the fact that you can pinpoint it. And I would say, like, even though you're, like, um, not fully a part of it yet, the fact that you have so much knowledge of it just says so much about it, that it has, it has a name and has a brand there. And there's mm -hmm. life to it. Yeah. And, you know, I wouldn't even say I'm like I'm not a part of it. I'm more like a, like a forefather in the background. Cause, like people making noise were like running around with us when like we first started and they thought we were cool. Right? So like it's like it's like a, it's like a cycle thing. Like at one point we were the cool kids doing it. And like it just so happened now that the ones who are like making noise were like our little homies. So it's like they always I always know I could go and like get a show or like performance but like it also comes down to like i feel like i'm not ready yet for that type of attention the way they be getting like i still i'm still working and developing on um, even though it's been like you know 12 plus years but like as a producer and like what i want the image the brand of dope is made to be i'm still trying to figure that out you know what i'm saying like the image yeah what i want him to actually you know when like, you see like dope is very you know exactly that is like so i'm still trying to figure that out the look itself gotcha you're still branding it up and like getting that whole entire yeah package. that is very exactly. exciting is there like um are there any like big names that have come out of your area um as of right now no like albany specifically we have one guy who is sort of getting big his name uh oh, fuck what's his name shit, 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 shit. i did it i forgot his name uh solely had 
Sholi had. He's getting uh, recognition. He signed like a deal to like some like low level like record li- label, but like he's been touring and stuff. So I mean, like you know, he could go somewhere. But at the end of the day, he's kind of like pop ish, um, not real rap. You know, he, he does a lot more singing than anything. He can rap, of course, but uh, you know, the route the label I think was going with was more of a pop thing for him. Um, so we haven't really had any any big big names yet from Albany. We have people who are definitely trying to make waves. They're splashing around. They're doing the right things. Um, but no one yet to like, you know, really shine the light, shine the light, shine the light on Albany yet. Got you. That is crazy. Um, I also wanted to ask, are there any like uh, other rappers in your area with like crazy gimmicks? Like old man sipping, he has like a very um, weird gimmick that like draws me in because he's wearing mm-hmm. a wig and it's funny to me. And I thought yeah. that was like hilarious. Are there any other rappers yes. that do that in your area? Yeah, there is. Um, my homie, uh, you know, obviously Old Man Sippin is one of them. If you don't know Old Man Sippin, anyone in the chat listening, tuning in, that's my uh, that's my family member, my cousin. He uh, basically raps as a deranged old man. Um, very, very vulgar. But the production is a whole thing. You'll definitely enjoy it. Um, check it out. There's another one, my homie. My homie, um, his name is Ron, but stage name is Hollywood Shumpo. Um, very energetic, very, uh, very charismatic. He's one of the purple when I was explaining having like people go to his shows because his shows are lit. Like, so he's going to be on like a lot of like opening act cards for like big names that come to our area. Um, he has, has a man kind mask that he wears the entire, entire, you know, show. Um, he's got like a mannequin head that he like, he, he basically he's man kind um, walks around the WWE championship belt. Um, you know, he has, he's got a clothing brand as well known as Lucky 13. So, um, he's real, he's real charismatic, real people person, huge Lil B fan. So, you know, that, that explains a lot right there. Um, yes. he, his persona. Then, uh, you know, we got a couple other, um, trying to, my homie, oh, Lil Baby Super, um, very charismatic, happy, pretty boy. Uh, he's, he's another persona that we have in here. We have our homie. Uh, you know, obviously Jimmy, um, who my homie Jimmy is like a very, 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 very low key with his shit at the current moment. But the whole persona, he, he's he's trying to tell like a story behind the scenes. I, the only way I can like explain it for you to understand is like how R. Kelly did was trapped in the closet, but not at all like R. Kelly's trapped in the closet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like each, each, <laughs> each visual is like going to play off the next to tell the full story, but it's all for like different songs. Um, yeah. it's real, it's real good. You know, um, there's a lot of people, but at the same time, there isn't because like a lot of the big names are just kids who are trying to get it fast, get it quick. They're popular. They're popping in high school. Uh, you know, the friend of trying to make use ethel studio. It, it's a wrap from there. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, they, they don't have any real creative depth as of yet. Like the one, uh, the one kid who has the merch on lock, his name is Glockstar Demi. Shout out to Demi, you know, but Demi is what you see is what you get. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see Demi, you know that's Demi. There's nothing else to him with his rap persona. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's a lot of people who are doing the creative route, image, persona, putting on an act, you know, getting, putting on their rap persona, you know, they're, they're themselves during the day. Then when it's time to go make music, they got to, you know, embody this person. And then there's a lot of people who are just, you know, basic, but good at it. Feel that. I feel that. Uh, real quick, I, d- I did want to say some people were talking in the in the chat. What's up, Bowtie? Welcome. Uh, Ooh, Bowtie in here? Yeah, Bowtie. Just Bowtie. Uh, we uh, are interviewing Ve. Uh, Ping did ask a question earlier, but you did answer majority of this question. I don't think Ping was here. He said, how did you start and what made you want to begin this career? Uh, if yeah. you could just give him a short answer of what you said earlier. Got you. Uh, basically, my, uh, my cousin started making music. And he told me he wasn't doing it by himself. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally how I started. I was doing, like, I was dancing. I was Wu-Tang before. Y- y'all, 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 y'all from the DMV, so y'all know what the Wu-Tang is. I do know what the Wu-Tang so, is, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> so I was doing, I I was doing that shit with a crew. And, and fucking, fucking, he was like, yo, I'm starting a music thing. You, I'm not doing it by myself. You coming with me. And I was like, I bet. Here we are. That's World legendary. Familiar. Someone said I just yeah, read that last call is 4 a.m. in Albany. 
Oh, that is dope. And it looks like you need a car yeah. to get anywhere around there. Mm-hmm. Wow. Last call is 4 a.m.? Like Ohio. Yeah, man. Yeah, they be turning up. <laughs> Bruh. But yeah. but niggas do be drinking that late too though, so it's like that's that's the thing. Like around here, mm-hmm. we got only but so many bars that's like last calls like two a.m. type shit. But yeah, it depends on where you go. But four a.m. like damn, dude, that's niggas just still drinking and shit. So like, and it's kind of like this, like depending where you at in this area, some things are within walking distance. But it looks like for your area, majority of shit you gotta use, you gotta have a car for that type shit. Somewhat. I mean, like you, what you, what, what we, what we do on our nights out, we try to get lit. We find a designated drunk driver, then that person finds a parking spot in the area, and then we just mob. Mm. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. That's literally because we have scenes. You got like, you know, the grad school scene, the I just got out of high school, I'm in college, I think I'm grown scene, then the fucking middle age, where's my wine at? Fuck these men scene. You know, we got scenes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that, brother. Another question for you. Um, when do you think the dopest vape package is gonna be ready? Like, like you feel like, oh, I'm ready to go out there. Like, I have my sound the way I want my sound. I really gotta like. I honestly, I just have to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm a weird person. Like, we're like, I may wait, but when I do something, I do it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just have to. So, like, honestly, it's gonna have to like. I'm gonna have to like, like fuck it. You know what I'm saying? The pieces are together. It's right right now. Here it is. And, you know, I, honestly, what I need to do is I need to recluse myself from a lot of things. A lot of shit's been inspiring me lately. So, like, I don't like when that happens. I do like when it happens, but at the same time, it's like the the uh, the, the threat of, like, trying to copy it or mimic it. You know what I mean? Mm, so, yeah, like, yeah. I don't, like, they, they, like, I don't know if you know who, like, Keem is, but, like, Baby Keem came out, and I'm, like, inspired as fuck mm-hmm. by that kid. Fucking Zach Fox That's on a beam, like, really put you. me in, like, a place of, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I just keep getting inspired by shit, and I'm, like, I need to stop looking and, like, just focus on what's going to be good for my brand. I feel that, bro. Um, Real soon. Yeah, I feel that. No, that's, that's, uh, I think, like, um... I feel where you're coming from because, like, I, I think, like, with a lot of artists, some artists, they're ready to just go. And some artists, they, like, it takes them a little bit of time. And it doesn't mean that they're taking fucking, you know, forever because I'm in the same boat. Like, me and you done talked about this many times, like, how I'm still, like, trying to figure myself out. Like, I don't want to wait too late, but, like, it's still just making sure that, like, you put shit out here and there. Like, you, if, if someone asks you, like, what do you do or... What we're like, you got a catalog of music. You could say, Hey, yeah, I got like this many. Pro- you got f- f- three or four projects now. Um, I have many projects, but like the, the ones I like to count that matter. Um, I think I five, five. I think I have five. Yeah, I think I have five. Okay, um, five. yeah, at this point in time, and it's, it's like I said, I just I get in the moments where I just want to create. You know, it's like I have a dry spell for like a couple, like a month or two, and then like I'll come home and be like, "Yo, I want to make a hot, hot ass track," and then it's off to the races from there. Feel that? That's dope, bro. Five projects is is good though. That's a good thing to like hold down to specifically, Mm -hmm. especially when you got people that's like trying to hear your sound. So yeah, as I mentioned, everybody, I posted this link like three times already. The SoundCloud link is there, but if you also want to, the SoundCloud link it says new project. Uh, fear none, con- conquer all. Um, if y'all want to hear that, please take a listen. It literally dropped at 12 a.m. Um, and in relation to that, like I said, it's good to have a category because, like, literally, I don't have a fucking category right now. So, um, it's still like you know figuring yourself as an artist because it's a precious moment. Uh, this is really off topic, but the back backdrop is not a full rainbow because there is no purple. Thank you, um, Ping, for pointing that out. Okay. <laughs> Appreciate you. Um, uh, um Vey, quick question. Yep. What do you think is, like, um imperative to to music? Like, what do you think is, like, imperative? Like, in your personal, in your personal philosophy, like, what do you think is absolutely necessary for, like, a musician or artist? Um, To be open to feeling and, like, having an open mind. Because I used to be so close-minded as, like, a listener. And then when I become a, when you become a musician, you have to literally you can't be close minded because you're gonna miss out on a lot of dope shit. 
Um, that's even with anything as an artist, like when it comes to just film or like drawing, uh, clothes, you know, rap anything you have to be open-minded because when you close off and you become so uh cons- consistent with something and like that becomes the norm you you literally lose the, the love of it you know what i'm saying like you don't the spark isn't there anymore so with you being open-minded you're all constantly getting new stuff to inspire you so really literally having an open mind and being receptive to new things that is definitely something an artist uh any any caliber needs to have that's that's I yeah, think that works in tandem thing. with with you specifically. Uh, that's, the reason I say that because like, um, you make a lot of different music. Like you, your music real talk have a, a fucking like it has an identity, but it's like very diverse. That's why I think like me, you get along a lot more because it's like you get you have one song, you'll drop another song. I'm sorry, I can't name everything at the top of my head, bro. But like I, you know, I've heard a lot of your music, but you have one song. Like, if I put, like, a playlist of all your music, a lot of the songs are not going to sound the same. And I think that's always a good thing because more so it shows that you can fit in any category when it comes to music as far as uh, no matter what genre. If, like, fucking Steve Aoki wanted to do a fucking song with you and then come back and then fucking... um, I don't know, some other artists in another genre wanted to do something with you, you know what I mean? And just still all kind of fix the fact of like, okay, yeah, like, you can fit in any genre, and that's like multiple bags. Like, it's not just about the bag, obviously, but it just kind of shows that it's like, okay, this person, no matter what the situation is, they can be placed in all these different areas. Um, Ping said, Vey, is there any singers that you would want to collaborate with, and if so, why? Like, big artists, or like, the homies, like, y'all? Uh, I think he means singers in general. He didn't specify. Oh, okay. So like, yeah, I definitely want to do more tracks with you, Rex. Obviously, but I, I gotta, I gotta. I'm just, you know me. Like, I want it to be perfect. I need the beats to be, pre, like, pristine. It's gotta like be like a whole ecosystem kind of deal. Um, but definitely like all the, um, anyone who does the music, I'm definitely down to work on anything. If I had to choose like big artists, um, obviously like Sir Michael Rocks. Uh, you know, anybody who like in, that I, I, I mentioned before, I'm not gonna like run through that list again. Um, but honestly, you know, just anyone, I honestly, I'm down to work with anybody. You know, I'm always down to collaborate and create because you know, at this point, it's it's fun to me. So, you know, you just gotta come with that same energy, just keep up. I like that. Um, who did the cover art for uh, Fear and None? Fear None, Fear Conquer. None, Conquer All. That's the name. It was, I found it, like, on Twitter. Like, it was legit. Um, this kid, I, I typed in, like, One Piece. Um, I typed in Luffy paintings on Google. And, like, this one came up of him going gear second. And then I was like, I clicked on the link, and it was this kid's Twitter. His name was, like, Waffalo. I, I, I should definitely put, put a link to his page. But he, like, his title literally said, I paint scary shit. And, like, I found <laughs> that picture of Luffy, Luffy Duffin um, Kaido. Huge spoiler if you're not that far along. Um, and it just looked dope. It just, it just, it was, it was frightening. It basically said what the title of the song, of the big song, of the project, you know, of the album, you know, basically embodied everything it was. Like, I'm not, like there's a giant, obviously, like a gigantic dragon, and this mm. little ass nineteen year old about to dump him in his face, you know, yeah. who has it's no respect for his it. life. So it just, Fuck. it just, you know, it, 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 uh, it embodied everything I, I felt the project stood for when it comes That's to music. Sure. That's cool, bro. Uh, so, uh, Pink said, "I don't know if you know who. Do you know who Yumi is? She's a singer. Yumi. Yeah, you no. know. Okay. So look her up whenever you that get the like chance on your off time. Mm-hmm. She's really fucking dope, though. Like Pink introduced me to her music, and she's really fucking cool. So Pink, you have to, 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 to collaborate with her. Like she's that easy to get in contact with. It's not that easy, but like, <laughs> yeah, she, you know, do a song uh, with Yumi." Yeah, do a song with you. Okay, uh, I got you. I'll do a song with her. Like, I got it. I got it. I got it. Gonna uh, I'm it. Sure <laughs> yeah, gonna fund this shit. I need that paper. Um, so for your project, because I also got so far, I'm having fun, man. This is good, bro. I'm glad that you're, you're very I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad co- you know you're conversating with us. Um, but so for your project, where where's your head at now? I'm gonna step off real quick, but where for your project. Where's your head? Where was your head at when you came up with this? Like, how long did the process take? How did you know these were the songs you wanted to put on the project? 
So, like, this has been underway since, like, I would say around this time last year. Ooh. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I think no, I, I say no Pat. Uh, Big World, no, no. no. Big World, yeah, was around this time, like March, this this time, right, 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 right. right. Yeah, you sent it to me. Um, around this time, I, I gotta year. go back to my email. I know I was in. I know I was working. At, I was working at it at CY just, House. I know that for a fact, though. I yeah, I, I remember because you was like, "Yo, send me that. I'm on it." I'm like, "Bet." I just finished. Yeah. My first. But um, like where my head was at, it was like I was just tired of like, like, like I guess like just getting counted out. Like even though I just dropped, you know, dead. I was in the process of dropping Dead Ego, and like that was like me just trying to like kill my ego, like accept the Which fact that like, project, by the way. you know, it is what it is sometimes. But like this like project was like a whole different, like it was like my ego's resurrection. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like fuck all that, mm. that, that sissy shit. Like I'm nice. I'm fucking nice. And I'm going to show you change. But also I'm like, it's my own lane. Like, it's like, I want, I want people to hear when they hear my, for it to be undeniable. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't compare me to anybody. Like I yeah. want it to be, nah, that's, that's very, so that's where my, my head is, is real, like, distinct, like, stand out, like, show out. Like, I don't give a fuck who's in my way. Like, I bet, like, you know, fear none, conquer all type shit. Mm, I like that, bro. Um, I was going to say, uh, I'm going to ask this question at Press Play Axe, and then I would say let's get into the first song um, mm-hmm. that you said. So uh, before we get into the first song, Press Play said, do you suffer from writer's block? And if so, how do you overcome it? Yes. And it's always good not to force it. Like, my writing process has changed so much from when I first started. Like, I used to, like, dead have the notebook or the note, the notebook app, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I would just, like, jot and, like, oh, the full verse. I would be so organized in, like, verse two or, like, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. And at, at a point, I really I realized that when you try to, per, like, focus on perfection, you're never going to find a path because it's never going to be perfect. You know what I mean? Like, so at a point old man was showing me the punching process and like I kind of liked it I liked it so much that like because the way it just, it just felt organic it felt right you know what I'm saying so I'll like do all what I'm doing my lines my words I, I make four bars where it's clean cut and I have to stop um, if I ever get writer's block I'm always able to put it down go do something else and come back to it Um, that's the best thing never, never to force it um, yeah. you know that's how I overcome writer's block when I have that's a good see. And that's good. Never force it. That's what I always tell people. I said never force your shit. Like but yeah, never sure force that's it. how you get hemorrhoids. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Also, like make sure that Tasty. you just uh, you know, take your time. Um, what's the first song you want us to play, bro? Um, so you, you sent three. How I sent it in order. I sent Blue Shell, No Pat Down, and Oh My God. Okay. Blue Shell first. Yeah, you do blue shell first. That's my baby. That's like a. Sh- when, I, when I made that, I was literally like, "That's a shark in the water." That's how I felt mm-hmm. about that. Like that's why I put it like sixth on the on the playlist. Okay. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna play the first song off the new project, "Fear None, Conquer All" by Dopus Vey. This song is called Blue Shell. I mean, what else can I say? What do you want? You know. It is what it is. What else could I possibly say? Loud. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a boy, my time, I do it well. I'm in fifth place, but I got the blue shell. I'm a boy, my time, catch me tell. 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 Stand down, stand don't down. need no stand off, no, don't no. need no man down. No man These down. niggas talk, right? Yeah, they talk, they right. had this plan down. Yeah, These down. bitches gross, right? Gross, they got right. their hands out. Yeah. It's going to be my shit. Right. <laughs> These niggas thinking they all might. Oh, all for one, but when he drop down, his shit really be all hype. Oh, that oh, means oh, when I see yeah. niggas, this shit will really be on site. Backseat in the stream, nigga. These hot yeah. bitches really yeah. on ice. Yeah. ice. Yeah. I'm going to my time, I do it well. I'm in fifth place, but I got the blue shell. I'm up by my time, can't you tell? Smoke a blue dream, baby. Wow, I'm sorry, I've been low. I keep my switch tight. 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 I
six, four, and ten, dog. These niggas up, right? Let's hit a lick, folk. These niggas tough, I They look like Cisco. Fry up like Crisco. Big chips Nabisco. I'm simple. I need my ends, niggas. Stop playing with my residuals. In one ear, out the other, motherfucker. Is you mental? In the block with the blue shell, then I swear right in the rental. I'm a by my time, I do it well. I'm in fifth place, but I got the blue shell. I'm a by my time, can't you tell? Smoking blue dream, baby, put it on a scale. I'm a by my time, I do it well. I'm in fifth place, but I got the blue shell. I'm a by my time, can't you tell? Okay. Face in the chat. That's what I'm hey. yeah, that's a happy face. Yeah. It's a hey, he's lit. He's litty. Um, uh, gang, man, gang, gonna, gang. With the direction of your beats, because your beats sound have a certain sound to them. Where yeah. did you get this sound from? Did it like grow over time? Is there like certain people that you know for a fact that you got the sound from? It's like I love heavy 808 shit. Like I love like. When the bass is just banging, like that's and like I, I like to feel like I like music that makes me feel like that nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like when I make beats, I want like the beat to make you hear it to feel like yo, you mad? Like I, I get a shit. So like, I love heavy eight oh eight, real mm. heavy kicking. You know what I'm saying? The 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 the, 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 the hi hats are snapping. I love stuff like that. And with that beat per se, um, I literally I did it. I started at 160 BPM. I made the eight, I made the bass line first, and then I slowed it down to one thirty five, and it was just hitting way better. Like with the damn, or, so I was just like, nah, yeah, this is better. This is perfect. And instead of giving, it was literally I wanted the eight hundred eight to be a melody. There's only a feel of like that real bubbly sound you hear, like the hook and shit. But like, other than yes. that, the eight hundred eight is what carries the whole song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I did. I wanted to be very simple with that beat. So it's that it's that boom. You need that like that that heavy boom. Like when you in the when you in the whip type shit. That's the type of shit that really kind of puts you in the in the good mind space. Fuck yeah, that should be crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavy, heavy bass. I love a lot of bass. It makes me feel so good. <laughs> Put you in a good place. Yep, right, good place. So- happy place. <laughs> The Freddie Gibbs one? Oh, you mean the the Basquiat one where it has like Young Thug and like uh ASAP? Oh Hurt? yeah, yeah, yeah. I just turned a number down and with my niggas. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah old yeah, English. Yeah. yeah, old English. Eight, there you honey, go. Counts in the yeah, body. Yeah. Be very still. I ain't trying to hurt his body. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know what you're talking about. Ain't not like twelve, but if I like it, I copy. it. <laughs> Here you guys just talk about uh, the type of beats with the 808s. I know there's not much in there. Yeah. That song really popped my head. It was just like... <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand. Yeah. Yeah. Music videos are great. And Nar said, it's like 12, but if I like it, I cop it. Mm. He's talking about 12 in the copy bar. Like, man, Young Thug is so slept on. This, man, he be killing shit. He is. Sometimes. <laughs> he does. Um, damn, I forgot. Who's your I favorite new know. art, new Thank age you. artist, bro? Thank you. Um... Super you boy, said baby Keem is one of them. I know one that. of them. Super boy, I love Super. He's I've been following oh, him for Superboy a while. It's like my it's favorite. Like, I love Super boy, bro. Super boy is that Nick? That is like one of my. Oh my god, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, I love Super boy. Um, I really. Uh oh. We losing. Oh, we losing him. Hey, we can't hear you, bro. Yeah. We're losing you. Yeah. Can you hear us? Oh, shit. Hey. Oh, no. Because he. Because he. <laughs> Yo. Vey, can you hear us? Oh, shit. He's still on the screen, yeah, but it's going. Uh, 
No, this is on uh, Discord. Yeah, this is on Discord. Yeah, the Discord joints, they kind of start lagging after a while. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh-oh. Can he hear us still or no? Uh, we can always call know. him back if it, yeah, that makes it right easier. Back. Yeah, you just call him back and then you just restart it. That's usually he said he can it. hear us. Okay, yo, we're going to... Oh, wait. Is it back to normal? No, you got you to gotta restart That's the it. stone I mean, face. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we, that's we, the, we're going to call much much you back weed. real quick. Yeah, we're going to call you right back, bro. Too much weed. Hold on. Smoke too much other weed. It is, but oh wait, 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 wait. Oh shit. Did you get it? Hello everybody, we're in both angles. Hey Welcome back to another episode of Both Angles. Today we're on this angle and we're on another angle. Today on this angle and that angle. I'm, I feel like Kirk angle. Maybe. Hey everybody, we're on both angles. No. I don't know. What's up, everybody? We're on two angles today, and on this angle, I'm a sexy bitch. On that angle, I am even more sexier. On this angle, I feel like Kirk Angle, and in this angle, I feel like Kirk Von Strangle. <laughs> on this angle, I feel like Kirk Angle. On this angle, I feel like Perk Angle. Off the perkies. Because <laughs> there was one time he was definitely off the perks. Oh, shit. Yeah, right there. Hello. Yo. Yo, we good? Okay. Yeah, we good. Right, cool. Cool. Sorry, man. Yeah, we got to be aware of that. Um, After an hour or so, it's going to always time out. Um, yeah, it's Due to weird. like what Discord okay. is, it's not really a function that's built for, for long Gotcha, chats. gotcha, gotcha, so gotcha. We may have to call you back, like, depending on how long this goes. But so far, yeah, yeah, wait, wait. Um, but yeah, no, the last thing we heard you say is Superboy, and then we didn't hear it. Then we heard you going in and out and said pussy. So that, what, that's what? That's yeah. what I said. <laughs> pussy. Yeah, what uh, pussy. else? Pussy. <laughs> I'm sorry, what else did you pussy. say? Pussy. Oh, uh, so yeah, Superboy, obviously. Um, who else do I? New Age. There really is. Oh, yeah, TJX6. I said he's he's fucking hilarious. Yes. I'm fucking him. Um, I like. I do like Roddy Rich, but he's been out for a while. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, I used to be a Comethazine fan, but he kind of got boring. Oh yeah, he he kind of got um, stuck into a pattern because got, yeah. um, Smoke Perp proved to him like, yeah. yeah, nigga, you can take my flow, but I will take it right fucking back. Yeah. <laughs> um, baby, baby Keem is definitely on. Is a huge, huge person I'm I'm fucking with right now. Um, this he's not new, but he's been driving a lot of my music. Snub Nose Frankenstein. Yeah, oh, from no. two nine nine. From two nine. Yeah, I haven't. Is he yeah, still? Because like been, I was wondering where the fuck. Because he's yeah. been, uh, What was their name of the group? Something brother. Fat kid's kid's brother. brother. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 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 Um. He he dropped the project last year, but he he keeps teasing at more stuff uh, okay. for you know the upcoming year. So I, I really fuck with Snub Nose. Um, I don't even know if you can say Key is fucking new age. He's not Key, new. Key, yeah, he's not really new, but he's just been more active as of late. Yeah. Um, you know, um, am I wrong for liking Kid Boo? I'm sorry, this nigga just said his microwave almost blew up. You said <laughs> what? You said am you I, like who? Am, am I wrong for liking Kid Boo's music? No, Kid Boo is such a whack character. You're totally wrong. You're you're worse than wrong. Yeah, I mean, unless you're listening to Def of SoundCloud, that's like his only good track. But like, um, yeah, you're you're trash if you like Kid Boo. <laughs> trash if you like Kid Boo. Damn. Okay, I'm I'm joking, I I'm take joking. it back. It's, it's, I take it back. <laughs> I retract that statement. It's off the record. But it's good that you're not stuck in that. Like, what is that? Box. Well, okay. Mean, Wow. Um, but yeah, no, lit it, but it's good that like cuz I think me and you all also had the conversation where it's like it's good that you're not stuck in that idea of like, oh yeah, you know, I don't like a lot of this new shit, a lot of this new shit is whack. Like you're more so open to a lot of it, but you still have your opinion on what you like and what you don't cuz I see you post mm. a lot of artists and a lot of the artists that you post sometimes I have no clue who the fuck they are, but I'm yeah. like see it's good to see that you know, no matter, even if we get older, it's like, bro, I'm not about to hate on these young niggas, man. Like, let you them can't. do their fucking you can't. thing, bro. That's why I get telling people, be like, oh, the rap game sucks. It's just terrible right now. I'm like, yo, you're bugged the fuck out. It's like, it's yeah, flourishing. Severely. It's like, yeah, granted, you may not want to hear it, but there's so many avenues in the rap game. Like, if you're listening to one side, try this side. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't, you can't at all look at hip hop from one spectrum. It's, it's, it's so vast. Yeah. It's crazy. That's a fact. That's a whole fact, bro. 
I think that's that's wonderful too that you have an open mind for that because, like you said earlier, mm-hmm. a welcome Trav, welcome, welcome. Um, Trav, gang, 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 night, gang. home, no, home, home good, peace. Like you said earlier, you gotta have an open mind. You gotta have an open mind. You gotta have one. Um, another question I have for you. Um, are, so, are you an old man gonna make a project? Yeah, we are. Um, this is with us. Like, it just gets like we get together, we start working on music, then life happens, and then we stop hanging out as much because life happens, and then we start focusing on separate projects, and then we drop separate projects, and then we're both happy with both our projects, and then we link up and we start working on the project again, and then life happens. We gotta get break. Me and him gotta break the cycle. Yeah, y'all gotta break that fucking cycle. It gets. It gets like we like like the song that we're working on. Like it could be the catalyst, but yeah. we just have to keep that same energy and that same focus. Um, we just need it to be right. Like because we got so many songs, we could already put out a project. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like I really think like when like when that happens, like, it, it's got to be like some iconic like epic because it's literally like two different things together. You know, it's half and half. Um, so I think when it does happen, it's gonna be crazy. But right now. I feel like it's it's, it's the build up to. Got you, got you. Okay, I, I really enjoy that man because I think y'all make great music for the people that haven't mm-hmm. heard him and Old Man shit. Like we were, uh, they every Friday Aaron and Vaz does something called uh, what's slapping, and um, they play music. And if you if you submit bits, pretty much your music goes to the top. So I was posting like all y'all shits. Like I was splitting between you and his shit. Like. I put, uh, I, I put, um, excuse me, um, what's the issue? What's um, the issue? Uh, fuck, what else did I put? <laughs> I put, uh, what's that song? I might fuck your bitch and get some eats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I put that on there. Like, it was a few tracks, so it was like just kind of showing everybody, like, you know, uh, you know, the, the difference of how y'all music sound and what y'all doing up there. Because, like, you don't hear, like, just like here, you don't hear nobody one in the industry be like, "Oh yeah, I know rappers in Woodbridge, Virginia." Like no one yeah, says man. that. Like you don't hear no one say, "Oh, I hear somebody in Albany, New York." Like, and I'm not saying no one says that as like a a, a diss or anything, but I'm saying I know what that, you mean, like, though. These are areas that people don't are not too familiar with, but it's so much talent. You know what I mean? So yeah. it, mm-hmm. it makes a difference, bro, to to see that no matter where you go, even when we went to fucking Toledo, Ohio, Toledo, it's like. There's so much talent out there too, bro. It's so much talent in these small ass places, and I kind of wish that, like, you know, the industry would look at more places than just Toledo. L.A., Atlanta. You know what I mean? New York. It's getting a lot better, um, but it's artists like us that's been doing it for a while. That's like, all right, what do we do next? What's next? Yep. Folks, you know, selling coke. Yeah, you gotta sell some dope. Sell some coke. Uh, dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I do got a back question because I've, I've I've been asking you music questions a lot. What the fuck got you into One Piece? And why are you one of the best, uh, most persons for Just let niggas know right Bro, now. One Piece is my shit man. for so many reasons. Luffy's my spirit animal. Fact. It's just, he 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 inhabits everything I, I want to stand for as, a, as an individual. Like, don't fuck with me. But like, at the same time, like, I fucks with you. But if I don't fuck with you, I'm going to let you know. And here's why. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just, yeah, he he's everything... Everything I want to be like an individual. If I had to be a cartoon character, it'd be Luffy. Um, I got into One Piece. I literally had got fired from like one of my jobs at a point in life, and like I literally just stayed home, applied for jobs, and like binged watch One Piece. And like a lot of like epic shit happens in One Piece, but like if you watch it, you know, like if you watch it, like if if it was aired on cartoons. You're gonna not feel the full effect. Like I saw so much One Piece in like a short span of time, that like a lot of the stuff that had happened in that span of time, me watching it, it's just like Jesus. Like there's like a point where like Luffy fucking lose loses his entire crew. Luffy almost dies, loses his entire crew. His brother gets kidnapped. Like there's like just a whole span of just shit. And like in the span of that shit happening, more stuff's happening. He loses 20 years on his life. Uh, you know, I think it was like 40 years in his life gets taken away to like rescue. It's like just crazy shit. And then on top of that, to fail 
You know, you, you see that in like a, a two week span and you're just like, nah, like, I, I, you feel that. It's an emotional connection with One Piece. But then at the same time, the headassery you get from the crew, like, I think it was um our homie Lex when she was explaining in fairy tale how she feels yeah. like she's part of the guild. Like I legit feel like I'm part of the, the Straw Hats because like I feel like I I feel like I fit in perfectly with them. And then on top of that, just like to see the camaraderie and the way they believe in their captain, but at the same time he believes in them. Like it's just it's 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 a good it's good vibes. And the numbers don't fucking lie. Like it's the top selling anime manga worldwide. Damn. You know what I mean? So it just it just so happens that it's it's good. It just so happens that it's good, and then the numbers back it up at the same time. Yeah, I feel that. All that's the exactly way. how you feel watching One Piece, though. Mm-hmm. You say he was about to cry. Yeah, because that's exact. That's the exact feeling. That's the exact feeling you be getting watching that shit. You be like, damn, I feel yeah. like I'm with these niggas. Especially yeah, if, like, if you binge watching that shit. Hell yeah, I I literally like, just got into it. So yeah, it's like there's certain moments where it's just like it's like there's certain moments in One Piece where you're like you're just like damn, like. That really just happened, and then like you don't expect. Yeah, it's it's very M Night Shyamalan at, at points where things happen. You're just like, wait, what? Like, did that really just happen? Like, yeah. you don't expect it from an anime, so it, it's very refreshing. Where like Dragon Ball Z and them follow a pattern. One Piece follows a pattern when it comes battle time. The yeah. overall story, the overall plot is very off the wall. You don't know what the fuck you're gonna get. Yeah, and that's what I like about it. That's a whole fact. Um, so anybody that hasn't watched One Piece, anybody that's can't don't care, this is about to be a spoiler alert real quick, so I'm gonna give you five seconds. Can I ask him a question about One Piece real quick? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Um uh, one out of ten, how badly do you want Luffy to smash um Bo Hancock? Um, keep it a buck. I give it a seven only because somebody I'm I'm real deep into like the theories and shit, so I'll be on the Reddits <laughs> and fucking People make a good point. They feel like people are saying he's gonna end up smashing Nami. Um, spoiler Ew. alert! But people are Ew. people are saying he's gonna smash Nami because she's the only one who could like get through them. And when you pay attention, yeah, like <laughs> nobody else can like shut the fuck up except for Nami. So I feel like that's gonna happen because it's the same token. Nobody else can shut her the fuck. up. But Luffy, so it's like I feel, I feel like it's, it's going to be a more Nami thing than it is Boa. Uh, that's just me. I'm more pro Nami and Luffy than I am Boa because uh, you look at Boa and Luffy, it's kind of like Sanji and Nami, like it's a joke. You know what I mean? Like it's never gonna happen. Yeah, it'll <laughs> damn. Trav said, "Remind me of Rex being blown the other day. Everything up to Marine Four it was a few months, bro. You know what was crazy?" The other night, me, Trav, Ashy, and Manny was sitting in the PS4 party, and there's a Twitch channel that streams uh, One Piece. And Ooh. we were just mm-hmm. sitting there. He's streaming and One Piece a, right now. Once again, yeah, he's been streaming that shit forever. Beast Wilkinson. But, um, Send me that, Rex. Right? Spoiler that- alert, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, look. So do you think that if this nigga fucking Luffy didn't just mm-hmm. run, like, well, first and foremost, to me, the thing that blows me about Luffy is that, like, yeah. he just runs in head first. His approach, his approach is very... And he doesn't very, fucking think sometimes, and it blows it, it, the fuck yeah, out of Yeah, it's him. very barbaric. It's, like, it's bro, very, like, fuck. There's some situations that would have not happened if he just would have mm-hmm. fucking waited instead of just mm-hmm. running in there head first screaming. And I'm just like, yep. bro, this blows me. Do you yep. think that he could have saved, like, if they would have left at the way that they should have left... Mm-hmm. Ace would still be alive at this point in time. No, I feel like if Ace didn't let his ego get in front of it and get in the way, Ace would still be alive at this point in time. Because the only reason Ace died is he was in the clear. They were in all in the clear. Luffy's yeah. idiotic plan worked, and then fucking Akainu said some shit, and Ace got up in his feelings. Like I can take you down. No, the fuck, he's magma. He's magma. Leave. Ace. Ace. Ace is dead because Ace is ego, and that's sad to say. But you gotta say it. Like you can't. Like you know yeah. what I mean. Everything yeah, works. Stronger than fire. He it went wrong. Everything worked. Damn, bro. Um, Everything. Also, uh, press play said, uh, "Who's your starter Pokemon?" My my starter. My... Uh, look like it's starting to go in and out. Can you hear us? Oh God, I can hear you. What? You can hear us? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Let's see if we can try to answer. Yeah, who's your starter Pokemon? Uh, right now, I have I had Score Bunny for the fucking for uh Sword. But if I had to pick like any Pokemon to start with, like one Sceptile, I was I fucking Trico. I love Trico. Sceptile is that fucking guy. Evolution at that. He's gotta have fucking Dragon Pulse, X Scissor. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Giga, Giga Drain. Give me Giga Drain and Omega Stone. Yep. Except Tau. Mm. Yeah, I stopped. I stopped. Like, I got to, like, the third generation, bro, and tapped out. Like, I don't know nothing. Jeez. Anything after the third generation, bro, Man, I have no clue. Let me tell you, fourth generation Chimchar, dog, when he involves into Infernate, that nigga's unbeatable, bro. Chimchar is um, like, I don't even know what you're He's an all rounder, bro. If, you want, if you're into strategy and Pokemon battling, Infernate Chimchar. is a be- He's a Chimchar. monster. Get 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 infernate. <laughs> yes, <laughs> your team get is set with an infernate. Um, so uh, what we could do really quick, we could actually play the next song, um, and then um, if you want, you know, we could uh kind of go in a situation where we can talk to you, uh, 4K and old man, um, but yeah, yeah let's yeah. play this. Let's play the song first. What's the second song? Can you hear us, uh, Vegas? The song was no pain. You hear me? I can hear you. All right, yeah, no pat down is the second song. No pat down? All no right, pat. So we are about to play no pat down, everybody. This is no pat Vegas. down. Once again, no Don't pat, pat down. Don't pat me, bro. Don't pat me. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, no. Oh, 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 it's oh. inevitable. It really is. Is it though? No. You, you really, you Trust really me, can't it's escape. Tough. You can't though. Like, inevitable. Keep it in mind, you son of a bitch. I mean, I agree with that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All my shit like fine wine, it'll be fine as the world spins. What you know about this bitch life? She a hurricane, she a whirlwind. Top down with the gas loud, let me spark up while I swerve whips. Pull up with my hand out, let me get mine like I turn tricks. Split tongue like a serpent. False gods don't worship, forever serve like I earn tips. I'ma take my shot like I won't miss. That loud smell that's on purpose. My sauce drip like I've earned this. See, so you tried to beast, but they nerf kid, nerf come and kid. take some notes. You observe this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, back down. I pack a punch like I'm packed out. Been a business bitch, you ass cow. Been a business shit with no pat down. Um, back down. I pack a punch like I'm packed out. Been a business bitch, you ass cow. Been a business shit with no pat down. Wait a second. What is this? Bay blade coming off the rip. Chow mein with the pint of shrimp. Mean the double stack. Why not take a trip? Essential water. Why not take a sip? My future's bright, yeah, I took a glimpse Ow. Nosy neighbor always on the fence Whoa. Can't read the room, Whoa. it don't make no sense no Smile for a bright, you might need some tin That tent. shit you talking, you might need a mint Nick all sticky from her yeah. mouth and lips yeah. yeah, she looking stressed, she might need to vent Hot boy, like a bag of chips yeah. When I'm done with you, you might need a brisket yeah. Simple dog, I enjoy the risk yeah. Like Zabuza, yeah. fucking miss yeah. Oh, you back down I pack a punch like I'm packed out Been a business bitch, you ass how Been a business shit with no pat down. Pat down. Um, back down. Pat I down. pack a punch like I'm pack out. Been a business bitch, pat you ass how. Been a business shit with no pat down. Pat down. Um, back down. Pat I pack a punch like I'm pack out. Been a business bitch, pat you ass how. Been a business shit with no pat down. Um, back down. I pack a punch like I'm pack out. Been a business bitch, you ass how. Been a business shit with no pat down. Nine tells me it's my favorite. And I need to go take a pee pee. <laughs> Yo, um, you said you make beats too, right? Yes, sir. Yo, I would love if you could send us any like instrumentals you don't use anymore that we could just use in our videos and stuff. I got you. I got I got tons of beats I could just have. Definitely. Oh, oh thank you. Oh damn, that just that is a bless. You know how much that just helped. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, man. I can I can definitely post some stuff. I can definitely see if old man wants to too. You know what I mean? He he got a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? As a producer, you were always making beats. So we might have something we made and we're just like, eh, I can't do nothing with it. But you could probably, you know. 
Fuck yeah, throw in some videos randomly at promos. We'd love that. Yeah, hey, thank you. Get past all this copyright bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I fucking he hate that. He said those beats probably wildfire too. Yeah, that, that, he definitely yeah, has a lot of these beats, shits bro. Like, from these the two songs. Big World is probably one of my favorite fucking beats. Not of all time that he's made because he has a lot of beats. I would have to actually sit down and listen. Like, Issue is. Issue is. A, you made Issue too, right? Yo. Uh oh. Back on ghost mode. Can you hear us, Vey? Yeah. Guys, this is a, a, a practice. So we, we love the fact that you guys are uh, being very patient with us. Can you hear us, Vey? Can you hear me? Turning out. Uh, can't hear you, no. Can you hear it? Well, I okay. just answered your fucking question, but yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, we can't hear it. Can you hear us? No, we can't hear you. Like, what, nigga? Yeah. So don't hear you yet, Bob. <laughs> so can you hear me now? No, Bob. I'm going to run to the restroom. I'll be right back. Let me know if we get it. I see why they fired that guy from the Verizon commercial. <laughs> Good. <laughs> he was like, okay. Um, let me ask you some more questions, bro. Yeah. All right. So what is your top new favorite anime? Honestly, um, really like Black Clover. I do like uh, My Hero, obviously, but I also don't like the hype around it, but I do like it. I yes. enjoy it. Um, I've been meaning to get in the firefight, that firefighter shit. I haven't just, I haven't had the time to actually sit down. Shit. It is so um, beautiful. I bet. I've heard good things. I just watched some shit on Netflix called Assassin. Where it's like no Scissor Steven or some shit. I don't know. It's just, it's a Chinese anime, but it's still like fucking it's fucking dope. It's real. Oh, real Scissor cool. Six. Yes. Scissor Seven. Seven. Scissor Seven or some shit like that. Yeah. Really he, good. An assassin has like his weapon of choice is like a. Yeah. Um, you know, I haven't really been tuning into too much of the new anime. Um, because I've been really just like I haven't really watched much anime as of something I need to fix. From what I've seen, like Firefight, like I said, looks amazing. My Hero looks good. I know there's a lot more coming out. I haven't even seen like the second season of like One Punch Man. That's how on my anime consumption. All right, I'm gonna ask you a very controversial question. Um, okay. Feel free to be completely opinionated about this. Mm -hmm. um, Are you sending a press point? Okay, Goku and Dragon Ball Z, or Please. Pikachu and Pokemon. Which one of these anime slash character um, mascots carries anime on their back the most? I feel like Goku for like us, like the adults. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Goku for the adults, but like Pikachu's like for like the kids who do like anime. You know what I mean? Like, cause Pikachu, Pikachu. I feel like Pokemon in itself is enough to carry on your back. You know yeah. what I mean? Pokemon in itself is its own thing. So I feel like Pikachu has to carry Pokemon. So no, Pikachu does not represent anime. Goku more represents anime. People are going to argue that. You know what I'm saying? So it's more Goku than it is Pikachu for me on this side of the spectrum over here. I respect that. Yeah. How do you feel? Um, I, I At points in time, I feel like um, Pokemon doesn't really carry on as... An anime is more like a franchise, and it is used to sell the video games and the cards. It's not really an anime anime, um, yeah. but there are a lot of, like, card-type anime and manga out there that are still, like, manga. But the ones that franchise out and make it more about the video games and they sell more than the actual show, I think, I, I feel like they separate into a realm. And how Pokemon's changing its art style with these new movies and stuff is, like... Mm. It's totally bridging the gap in which is this own thing, like maybe like how Mickey Mouse is or how Disney is. It doesn't really fit into the realm of anime anymore. It's just his own entity. Yeah, Goku, that's how he I feel. is Shonen Jump. He's Shonen mm. Jump to the max that they still draw the mangas. They still make it solely about like, it's still a gag comic. It still has its roots to Dragon Ball. It is completely set into like being a manga and yep. what anime is. Mm. I, that's, that's exactly, you know, like I said, Pokemon's its own. I don't even consider Pokemon anime sometimes. Yeah. Uh, how I mean I know it is, but I literally forget it has an anime. I literally forget like niggas sit down and watch the Pokemon anime. Um, some sad news. Old man I believe skipped out. He snuck out. Damn. He snuck out. He a you guys fucking ninja. Jimmy. What the fuck? Hold on. Hold on, guys. 
What a ninja. What a ninja. Uh, I kept it cool with her. Yeah. I was like, I was like, yo, yo, babe. Go get it. Mm-hmm. That, is that a play? That is a play. Or, uh-huh. I'll show you an old bitch that was fucking this nigga from your here. Instagram. And you had like, so many questions. I mean, I know about the wig, but I want people play? to know about the wig. That is a play. Me too. What's more of a play? Yeah, I don't know. Is he coming back? <laughs> is old man coming back? He is? Oh, he's coming back. Oh, okay, I'm about to say, hit that nigga up, bro. They want to interview y'all niggas, too. Either way, we spank. I mean, you can, you can... <laughs> What'd he say? He said, either way, we spank you, bitches. Look. <laughs> well, if if Gourmet, if he's there right now, we could talk to him for a little bit. Ah, yo, Gourmet, they want to they wanna interview you. Yeah, talk to, yeah, yeah. Gourmet, Gourmet's in the building. Hold on, let me put these Just away. Let's ask him a couple questions real quick. Chat hey, what's on. good, bro? What's good, blood? Hey. Hey. For anybody that good don't night. know, I know him by the name of Gourmet 4K. Gourmet uh, 4K. And uh, if I'm fucking it up or 4K, please let me know if I'm fucking it up, bro. Man, it's just Big Gourmet, baby. That's all you <laughs> So, you know quick, quick, this is a, a platform that we use all the time to interview different people and shit like that. And me and you follow each other on Instagram, and uh, you know we've talked a couple times. Um, this you just dropped. You just dropped your song too. You just dropped your song. I listen to. Oh yeah, yeah, Buck Buck. I just dropped that shit. Buck Buck. That's what it is. Buck Buck. That shit was fire. Yes, sir. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Nah, definitely. Appreciate that. I like that. I like the um. I like the song. Definitely. Thank you, bro. I really I appreciate that, bro. Thank you. Uh, so I gotta ask you some. You know, just got a couple quick questions for you here and there. Um, first and foremost, my, my first question is, uh, with the, the directions that you do, so you, for, for the people that don't know, can you let everybody know what you do specifically? Um, it's kind of like complicated because I do so much. I consider myself like an octopus, bro. Mm. I kind of, I kind of touch, touch different things, you know what I'm saying? And, and I bring that gourmet shit to it. You know what I'm saying? I, that high, high quality, high quality shit on, on different levels. Um, but mainly right now, well, what I did before was I, I created a videography um, company, basically multimedia brand, to to branch out the artists that are already doing shit in the in the inner cities where it's all Troy, Schenectady, and shit like that. Mm. But but now it's like I'm working personally with artists, with production, videos, um, press, getting getting this shit out to like different different people. It's like. It's like I'm working behind the scenes. That's where, that's mm. where I'm at right now. And I like, I like to join teams. I like to consult with people. I like to work around work around people's schedule and just and just really, like I said, it's like gourmet where we serve it like fast food, baby. You know? I feel that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. What got you into the whole, gra- like the multimedia thing? Were you like in school for that? Or was that just something that you saw because you wanted to like follow directing and stuff like that? I- I ain't never, I ain't never go to school for none of this shit, bro. No cap. Mm. The only thing I went to school for is is cooking, is culinary arts. That's the only gotcha. thing I went to school for. Um, majority of the shit that we do, man, is 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 basically us fucking around, bro. If, mm. if I if I ain't put the time in, bro, I wouldn't be able to understand programs and certain things the way we understand. If I if I didn't meet people that were sharpening my steel, I wouldn't be anywhere what i'm doing right now because it, it all comes down to who you surround yourself with you know what i'm saying so if i know this nigga's producing some crazy shit i'm gonna learn from this nigga. you know what i'm saying and if you don't want to learn from niggas then you just you're gonna get washed away with the rest of the niggas you know i feel that yeah i feel that most definitely brother that's a good way to keep it too because it's like i feel like a lot of the times when it comes to not just music but anything it it really is the company that you keep and if you ain't learning from your peoples around you bro it's like what's the point of even doing it Facts. Bro, like it, it's it makes you a better person. It, it makes you a more valuable person when it comes down to it. Niggas just don't understand about creating value in certain spaces, and they feel like they get overlooked. Is 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 it's not you getting overlooked? Is that your value isn't to that standard where we can go to you every time and you coming back with quality products? A lot of people can't do that. A lot of people yeah. think they can do that, but it's a machine. That's why this like these these companies might that they're a machine, bro. They know how to. They know how to pump shit out like that. And, it, and it's mm-hmm. so much more to this whole music thing that people don't really even fucking, they don't even care about, bro. Like, a lot of these niggas don't give a fuck. It's like, fuck it. We don't give a yeah. fuck about how we put music out. We don't give a fuck about cover art. We don't give a fuck about videos. We just give a fuck about music. 
A lot of yep. some niggas blow up about like that, but a lot of niggas don't, bro. And it's just like mm-hmm. it's how you treat this shit, you know. But I always say like the niggas around me and make me who I am, bro. If I didn't have old man here, I, you probably wouldn't even be talking to me. So that's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. I, you know, or Vay, yeah. you know. But me and Vay knew each other elementary school, bro. So damn, we go way back. But we didn't we didn't meet up until I was at maximum. Nigga. You probably don't even know it's it's a call center. We we got a job together and we we linked up through that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's to me sometimes the fate is fate and and faith and putting your and putting your faith out there and really putting yourself out there because he could have not said nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That nigga that complimented me one day and and, and it was like, damn, like we cool now. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy. Like but it's all it's all it's all who you got around you, man. That's a whole fact. No, that makes sense. And and I agree. (laughs) I agree. I agree a hundred percent. Everything you said is literally like the value of what we go on every day down here in Virginia. Cause it's like, it's still blowing my fucking mind that I'm talking to niggas in fucking Albany, New York, bro. Like, cause it's like, I would have never went through no section like that. Like nigga, that's not even a connection from Virginia to, to all the way up there in New York. So yeah. to me, like it's still kind of like fucking me up right now. It, it's such a good process to kind of, it's crazy, going, bro. It's, like, it's, yeah, it's crazy. It's, this even this process right now, of you, you being in Virginia, Having your mm. having your um your circle understand what you do and believe yeah. in what you do and then having our circle believe in what we do and then coming together on some shit and bringing everything together that's what it's all about you know what nice. I'm saying and if niggas not working like that then it's just it it just doesn't make sense bro yeah. you know that's a whole fact bro yeah nah it, it it's cool cause like uh, just by you following me on Instagram like. And we didn't even know each other. I guess like cause you like we started talking very briefly. You was like, yo, I fuck with the shit you do. And I was like, yo, I didn't even know that was you on the Z song. It's like that shit's amazing to me, bro. Cause like I see that you also, like you said, you do culinary and I do cooking as well. Like Word. And I I see what you did. Like what put you in the direction to like start cooking? Cause you do a lot of healthy meals too. Yeah. It's um for me, the healthy meals came from my father passing. He, uh, mm. This is crazy that um, old man, one of old man's family just had the same thing that my dad had, which was a uh, congestive heart failure. Oh, and he just, that. his diet was horrible. You know what mm. I'm saying? And and that that's what really sparked my healthy cooking. Um, but what sparked just gourmet in general was really money. Like I needed money. I, I needed to find a job. I was young. I was like, yo. I can mix shit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I can mix yeah. shit, I can make a pasta. What's up, you know what I'm saying? And then from there, I learned, just the way I learned from production from Old Man or Vey or whoever, whoever I get in the studio with, I learned from chefs, you know what I'm saying? They taught me the ropes, and I really put time into that shit, bro. A lot of niggas, they don't put time into shit, bro. I put time, bro. I, like, I dedicate myself. Like, nigga, I ain't have a job. I was broke, but I still was pushing towards what I, my goal was. You know saying, like, that's it's true. really just how you how you manage your time, bro. You know, majority of my time, bro, we we looking up shit, bro. I, I'm on fucking YouTube, bro. Like <laughs> niggas on YouTube watching conspiracy shits, bro. We on YouTube learning, bro. That's the difference. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like we on YouTube learning and applying shit to real life, nigga. Like, and that that's the difference Thank between you. niggas, bro. That's that's really what what I can say, bro. That's you know? Thank you. Yeah, Do you know man. how many people waste? hours and days of their life following conspiracy theories like what are you gonna do if this is real anyway mm-hmm. like how does any of this you affect your life like okay <laughs> tupac's still do? alive out there in like the fucking bahamas yeah okay but it, what, what how does that affect your life like learn a skill or something guys yeah, jesus so christ thing, they're not they're not ready for it they're not they're, they're not ready for it they're scared bro and I, I you know what i'm saying and some of that shit is true a lot of the shit that they be talking about is true but you can't let that affect the way you live your life in reality, you know, our reality has been shaped before, you know what I'm saying, before we came here, but we have to develop a, a new understanding of life. And the only way to do that is to learn, is to really, really learn, bro. Because a lot of niggas think they're learning, bro, but they just getting regurgitated information from another nigga that's telling another story. It's like, it's, it's, it's all, it's a lot of shit, bro. It's a lot of shit. That's all I can really say on that. Bro. That's a fact, bro. So... With with the because I tell people all the time like yeah YouTube is a great learning pattern so you produce too yeah okay. if you if you really go into my my page bro and you see the one video bro you really get to understand like my music bro like they and old man always tell me nigga you don't really put any shit out like for me it's like 
when I do music, bro, I be speaking to I be speaking to God, bro. Like dead ass. Like if you listen to my lyrics, bro, like you really understand. Like I'm not just speaking on no like shit that we just did yesterday. Like I can like the song Z's. Like that's really me speaking on my life. Like I might fuck your bitch and go to sleep. Like that was my that's my life. You know what I'm saying? Like all that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like if you listen to that hook, bro. Like no cap, bro. If you listen to that shit, bro, that's really how I'm living, bro. Like. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's why I came off that way. But the music, if you listen to my shit, bro, if you really go on my page and look at my shit and listen to it and look, listen to what I'm saying, bro, I'm really speaking to God, bro. And and I got another track that's coming out. I got I got two more tracks out. I'm going to drop on my Instagram, but you're okay, going to understand yeah. them more. I can send you them, too, so you can just give me your feedback. Oh, yeah, do that, please. Definitely. Please. But I'm you know proud, what I'm saying? I, I really be speaking on some therapeutic shit because I don't go to therapy. As black men... We don't go to therapy, bro. A lot of us no. just I, I deal met, with. I met one. You know, you met one. Yeah, um, Vex School. We had him in here. He's actually oh, the first yeah. person that actually said that he actually went to therapy with that's his crazy, mom and like bro. and everything. Like we, yeah, for the most part, we really don't like. Yeah, I think it was that's rare. something that's instilled in us, yo. Like, cause they make like, and and not to say like to try to like shit on parents or anything like that, but it's just more so of how they're taught. They just tell you to like. Be a man they about said, the thug situation. It out. Yeah, thug that shit out. It's real. We don't have the money for it, so we had it's to. Real. Yeah. You gotta thug it out. If that's whoever said that. That's the realest thing. You, that's the realest thing you can say right now. You gotta yeah. thug it out. There's no option yeah. for niggas like us, bro. Niggas like us, we gotta wake up every day and get to it. If we don't do that shit, then it all falls down, bro. And old man, Facts. bro, that that nigga is an inspiration, bro. That's why I tell niggas all the time, bro. That nigga's a real ass nigga, bro. Because a lot of niggas aren't going through the shit that this nigga's going through on a day to day basis, and mm. and he's still doing the shit that we doing. Like me, like I don't got. Like, I don't got as many kids as him, bro. I don't got that, like, that pressure of, of life on me. But he's still out here doing the same shit I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to understand that that's a level of, of uh, that's a mindset. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. niggas, that's, it's hard to accomplish that. And once, you know, when niggas get older, bro, niggas, like, I'm at a point where I'm, I'm trying not to fuck these bitches, bro. I'm trying to really, <laughs> we got a whole, a whole thing <laughs> about hard. that shit, bro. Uh, we got to so pull hard. up on niggas, bro. You got to really link with us, bro. Oh, yeah. No, nah, most dev. Most definitely, we gotta come out there. I was, I saw a fucking video of old man. He was, it was some show that he was at, and I was like, bro, is there a way for me to get a show up there? And he was like, he'll ask around, cause it's like if we pull up, we try to pull up like on some music shit, bro. Like no I'm trying cap, to, like, make no moves, cap. Like, this Albany art. shit, bro, is different, bro. Like they'll, they'll, these niggas will tell you, bro. Like it's, it's different, bro, because the niggas that are already out here, bro, are solidified, bro. Like they're mm. solidified in their circles, bro. And they almost make it like, they almost make it like, if you were to come out here, bro, they'll try to downplay whatever you doing just because. You know what I'm saying? And you can come out here four or five times, six times, niggas will still just downplay your shit, bro. Downplay that shit. And it's like, what I say to come out here and do a show, yes. Because obviously you can come out here and probably and probably meet somebody to put you onto something else. What I say that this is a place where you can really get your your shit out there and you want people to listen? No, because niggas already predetermined what they listening to out here, bro. And niggas not opening up. I, I fuck with you because I have a yes, certain ear, bro. And it's like niggas don't have that shit. Niggas are just are, have been dumbed down, bro. It's just this is what it is, my nigga. That's why that's why I say gourmet, but we give it to these niggas like fast food because that's all they know. That's all these niggas know is fast food. So I'm going to give you this gourmet shit, but I'm going to make it so you understand it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You can you can you can, you can digest that shit and sit on mm -hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah. Ass, like. I feel that, brother. That see that makes sense. And I'm glad that you got that open eye for that. Cause like we said the same thing. Like I I would rather y'all come down here to get a show. Cause there's a lot of good places to get shows down. We need here. to come out there. We need to come out yeah, there. Yeah, like I'd Turn rather y'all come down here where we have like, two shows just booked. It's, be you know it's I mean? a beach like, out there, bro. It's, it's bro. It's different living out there, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's yeah, that's, that's yeah. what I'm trying to do, you know. It is. It's it's definitely different because it's like it's the DMV, so it's so many like places for you to go. Like we're in Northern Virginia, so okay. like it's like we're only like what 15 minutes away, 20 minutes away from DC type yeah. shit. Yeah, like we're right there near DC. Traffic 30. Yeah, if traffic is like 30, but like it's like you go from there and you can go from Southern Maryland and we know it for real. Yeah, it's so much to do down here, bro. So it's like I'd rather y'all come down here so we can book. Nah, for real, for real, for show, real. That's, what, I mean? that's yeah. what we need to do. And that's and, and old man's working on new shit. They just dropped his new shit. 
Yeah. Man, at, we in a point in time right now, we getting back to where we was at before. We trying to get the chemistry back. And it's really just it's really just staying down until we got the shit for you niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm coming out there with hits, bro. I'm not coming. When niggas when niggas come out there, bro, they're gonna know, they're gonna know who we are, bro. That's that's a fact. That's the type of energy I'm trying to come out there with. I'm not trying to come out there on like, yeah, I'm on my last, bro. Like, what's up, bro? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to come out there like we we on top of our game. We dropping music. We we really trying to create a fan base. We really trying to do this shit, not just on some just hobby shit. This is not a hobby, bro. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I feel but, that, bro. That's that's good energy, dog. Yeah, we definitely. I mean, right now we are working on getting some because they got a producer show coming up. But I'm also working on and it's on the eighth. Yeah, and it's on the eighth. So we're working on to get more shows, trying to because I'm trying to get more people from like kind of out of state to come through. But I yeah. want them to come through, and it's like you know, it's some bullshit. Like, and I'm yeah. not saying it's gonna be bullshit. But I'm trying like, to work for us to have like something. I want to. Like, it, it just gotta be solidified, man. Like everybody just gotta understand. Like I'm saying, like. My circle has to understand what I'm doing and be behind me, just how your circle is, y'all, what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? We not at that point yet. It's 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 hard where we at to even break as an artist. Right now, I'm, I, I was just I'm working with an artist, Reese. Right now, he he just broke in L.A. You know what I'm saying? And he's doing a, he's doing his thing out there. And you know, I, I see the same thing for old man very soon. You know what I'm saying? It's just really it's coming down to how much do you want it, how much you gonna put yourself out there, how much yeah. we gonna be outside. You know what I'm saying? We trying to pop out on niggas. You know what I'm saying? So that's a fact, bro. That's a whole fact. I got man. old man here too. If y'all want to talk to him, yeah, you know yeah. Saying? Get that nigga on the line, man. Get that pull, nigga pull up, on old man. Line. Yeah, pull that nigga up. Pull the old man up. Oh, he got the wig. He got the wig. <laughs> gang, gang in this bitch. Let's go. What's My up, nigga? man? Hey, what's good? My nigga, old man. What's up, I'm brother? Here. How you doing? What's up, man? How y'all feeling? We good, yeah, we're bro. We good. Chilling, welcome bro. to the welcome to the Yeah, put it on. Yeah, welcome to the show. My nigga old man in this bitch. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Hey man, I was um the other day we was it was Friday. And uh they do this thing called What's Slapping where they play like music and shit like that. Okay. And I submitted your shit and they shit. Like I was just sending them a bunch of different shit. And one of his homies was I, I the first song I, I, I sent them was Let Me Know. And okay. his homie was bopping his head. He was like he said, who this? I was like, yeah, that's old man. He's like, old man. So he started looking it up on Spotify. So he followed hey. you on Spotify. So it's, like, yeah. it's like, yeah, bro. But now we appreciate you. How you feeling, brother? Yo, I'm I'm feeling good, man. I appreciate that. Y'all. You put me on down there. I'll be trying to yeah. explain my Verizon and shit. So I appreciate that. But I'm good. I'm just here chilling, just cooking up and everything. Getting lit, that's what's up. you know. When he showed us the video, home. I was like, "Yo, I said, is this man wearing a wig this whole yeah. time?" And I didn't know. Yeah, yeah I am, so, bro. Thanks. Oh, geek, geek. <laughs> can you? Can you? Nah, it's all part know? of the aesthetic, you know. Like I came up with the idea when I came up with old man. Like I'm getting older. I'm 27, you know. So like, I'm, I was just like, I'm still in the turn shit. I still listen to ratchet ass trap music. I still yes. make fucking banging ass trap beats. What just put the wig on? It's good. Like that's what old men <laughs> two pays and wigs and shit. <laughs> I'll fuck with it, bro. That's, that's what's yeah. up. so for for people that know. So you say when when I asked you that question when we were talking, we were talking personally. Mm-hmm. Um, you told me that you was like you you a young man in an old man's body. Does that translate not just from music? Does it translate from like everything in general, or how does that kind of like balance out your energy? To be honest, man, that's like my whole life i'm i'm a millennial so like people still think i'm pretty young but i've always had an old so always been like real knowledgeable and real wit real wise and like telling niggas like to do the bigger the bigger thing and you know move in a more mature way but i still fuck with like young ratchet millennial shit so my goal was to like combine the both of them and that's why i came up with the name the whole name in general man sipping because you know everybody sips i'm like oh man it's, it's just a young it's an old man but i'm playing a young man's game you know? mm, i like that i like that bro what so what are you know we're gonna have to ask basic questions of course uh yeah what, let's get it. what was some of your influences to get you to like really be like all right i'm gonna take this music shit seriously um to be honest this is um I, this is actually a really good question especially for you rex because when i when we started my biggest influence in music, the ask, 
I was listening to like mad rap, rap Lupe, Asher Roth, Currency, Charles Hamilton. That time. Um, okay, I got you. Straight rap, Wiz Khalifa, like real lyricism, real like everything was about concepts and like all of that. And for a while, like that was lame. All I did was try to be like super lyrical. And then and I want to say like, 2014 2013 around that time like music kind of shifted and it became mm-hmm. more about like production and creativity and like um raider clan they had their popping in florida and we actually Hell knew yeah. a producer from albany his name is perp dog and he was like producing yeah. so i was listening to them a lot and i kind of just came up with the rebrand but those were my main influences at the fiasco asher Roth, charles hamilton it was probably my time that's what's up, bro. Yeah, and then I, it, it kind of it transformed into like key, yeah. and it came real Atlanta based stuff like that. Yeah, I def. I, I'm gonna be so honest, bro. I miss that era, like that mixtape era, because I was still in right. high school around that time, bro. When like the freshman covers was popping, mm-hmm. and there was still a lot of niggas that wasn't even hip to the freshman covers. And I was yeah. like, one of the new niggas that was listening. To, I was like, I need something new to listen to, because hip hop around that time kind of got a little stale. It was. Yeah. You had to like you had to go to the freshman list in order yeah. to find new people. That's a, that's it a was, whole fact, bro. Hard. That's all we used to listen to. Wale running. Like I used to know the song by could like mm. recite them off the top of my head like oh, yeah. the music was just in a different place back then oh fuck yeah bro it was different i think like that's when i got hip to kid cuddy i was like bro yeah i feel like it's gonna take this direction like music gonna take this direction a lot of people harmonizing and type shit and right and behold that's kind of where it started going so it's like it, it came to a whole different direction um yeah another thing that uh i was asking so like i know you know with you and Vay, y'all cousins like but when y'all first bro. started linking, like what what was what were your what was your mind frame at that time? Like was it just bro? Like, I got the funniest this story for you, bro. We didn't start me. Okay, so me and they like we're blood cut, but we only knew each other because both of our families were like heavy, like our main family. So um, I used to go to church and just be with my sisters, and then one day, like I like as I was getting older, because you know they is a little bit, but as I was getting older. Like, he just thought I was cool, and he was just like, fuck it with me. He, so he hit me up. Like, one day, he was just like, yo, we, we should hang out. And we started hanging out. That lasted for, like, three or four years. You know, we was in the video game. A lot. So um, one day, I was just like, I was like, yo, we should start rapping. And I had a, um, I had an American Idol mic. And, um... I was just like, I was just like, yo, we should start doing like, we should start rapping. So we like, it was a USB mic and we like hooked it up to the computer. And I had this pro- program called um, Mixcraft. I don't know if you oh, ever heard shit. of that. Yeah. yeah so I, I had Mixcraft too, nigga. Yeah, but Mixcraft, <laughs> that was struggling. Bro, yeah. I, y'all struggled. That's, that was I had the trial program version. that you could get. Yeah, I had the trial version and um, we hooked it up and we recorded like, like three horrible songs. <laughs> <laughs> they were so bad. And um, we thought they was lit, though. We was like, yo, we just going to start rapping now. So that's what it was. Damn. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, I was talking to niggas, uh, I think it was last week or the week before that, I was telling niggas, I was like, yeah, man, I don't know if y'all niggas remember Mixcraft, but, bro, literally one of my homies, we got the free trial, and then, like, we jailbroke that shit. And then, like, literally after that, niggas was good. Like, we just was on that bitch for the longest. But it was so bootleg. We used to have, like, the mic just hanging from the ceiling type shit. Hey. It, was, it, was, it was crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, Mistrap was a shit, bro. I used to use the child version for, like, like two years almost. And I was just on that for a while. And then the next software I had went into was um, Sony Cakewalk. I had bought a, um, I bought a MIDI, like, uh, beat pad. And it came with Sony Cakewalk. So I was using that for a while after that. But yeah, we just started making songs. We were making straight, like, probably for like six years. I ain't gonna lie. We was making trash. <laughs> <laughs> At least you can admit it, man. At hell you got that, man, the listen. Hell man. yeah. I can trash it. We were making trash for a long time, and that's what be so calm. Fire. I know what trash is, and we was making yeah. it. <laughs> that's a fact. Same, nigga. That's crazy, bro. Like, that that blows my mind. Like, because it, it just kind of... It blows my mind only because, like, more so the fact you see where people are come from mm-hmm. and what they doing now. Um, And like you said, so what gave you the confidence to be like, I don't give a fuck what people say. I'm going to wear this wig 
I don't care what you say. Like this is because it's un, like like some people may look at it and just take it as a joke, but it's really an unorthodox move for me. Right. Like, bro, it, it fits your persona of old man sipper. So, what gave you that confidence? Um, to be honest, uh, kind of I, I kind of overheard when I was talking to Jimmy, but like a lot of it, bro, was like I, I was evaluating my my life, and my life had like changed a lot. Um, I had you know I got two kids. I, I had kids. I was moving all around. I, I lived in Michigan like um a lot of shit was happening and then I kind of started looking at my personality and I'm like, oh like I'm like super wise and I like I know a lot but then like I don't, like I'm still a kid at heart like I'm still energetic and um I came up with the idea of it's funny because before I incorporated the wig I came up with just the old man sipping idea. but mm. so what happened was um I have horrible genetics. So I started losing my real hair. And I was like, yo, nobody going to take me serious if I'm like a rapper with a fucked up hairline. So I was like, yo, I got to think of something. What if I get some corny ass wig and just incorporate it into like turned up lit ass music? So I, um, I got a wig. I ordered a wig off eBay or whatever. And I started rocking it. But I was realizing that the music I was making was so creative, it kind of was like a pass for the wig to be on because like you mm. said when people see it wig they like yo this is a joke clearly but i wanted people to take the music serious so you know i'm making some turn songs i'm making like some crazy lit catchy ass songs that people are fucking with it and i remember i had got posted on some blog and i was going through the comments and the comments were like yo there's like no no comment was a comment on the wig it was a comment like yo this is some weird ass music but this shit is lit so mm-hmm. that kind of gave me the confidence to keep like, like throwing the whip. Like Fuck it. And it got to the point where we used to come over here. We used to pull up on Jimmy and like I would produce for hours just making mad beats. Random niggas pull up, random rappers and shit, niggas we fuck with. Nobody ever mentioned the whip. <laughs> like it became mm-hmm. normal. So I was yeah. like, fuck it. We right, we riding out with it. They understood where it was coming from. Yeah, they were just like, yo, he did this nigga just wears a wig <laughs> <laughs> That's lit. I like that. Yeah, no, I like that. You got any questions for him? Um, I was just so much like baffled by the wig, and I thought it was just dope. And it, I love seeing people having fun with it. And it seemed like you were definitely having fun with it and living in the moment, and also enjoying like the style of art you make. And like you said, when you had got onto the blog, they weren't talking about the wig; they were talking about the art. And it, it just made it seem like, yo, this is a guy that really knows how to enjoy his own music and have fun with his craft. Definitely agree, bro. Um, Wait, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear the last part. What was the end of it? Oh, I was like, this is a guy that really knows how to enjoy his music and enjoy his craft, like right. the creative part about it. Yeah, um, it's fun to like. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, at first, I was just making a lot of like, um, a lot of like turn up kind of like meme trolly songs, like kind of like Ugly Guy was. You know, Ugly Guy would drop. All his songs were like troll songs. So I started off there, and then I started um, making more serious songs. So I had a, I have a lot of songs like about my pops because I met my pops when I was 21. I'm 27 now. So as crazy as that sounds, I started writing about like more serious stuff, like relationships and like women and like. But I was doing it in a way that it was still like, how can I say it, um, meaningful. Yeah. And that really was like a transition for me. And then I found that you need a balance. Um, you need to be able to be serious, but you still got to be catchy. You still got to be like coming up with stuff that um, people can relate to it in one way or another. Facts. And um, that kind of set the tone for like a lot of the music out here now where I always try to one or two songs that I know are hitting, super serious, people can relate to. But then I need to let me know. You know, I need a song like that where, like, people can just play in whatever environment that they're in and kind of get, like, a good jug or a good vibe to it, you know? Yeah, most stuff. That's most stuff, bro. I, be, I, I definitely, uh, a lot of times when I am playing people's shit, like, I, I send a lot of people you and Vay's music a lot. Like, Thank you. Just, I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem, man. Because it's just, you know, like I said, I fuck with only a few people. And I know, like, I've had many conversations with Vay about this. And I can probably tell that you feel the same way. It's like, you know, for niggas like us, we don't ever want to come off like we're 
you know, uh, what's the word, reserved, but it's mm-hmm. like you've dealt with so many energies. You're like, who's really going to fuck with this genuinely and who's going to just be another motherfucker that's just going to be like looking down on you type shit. So it's like, I fuck with the vibe that y'all got going up there and I really do believe in what y'all niggas is doing, bro. So it's like right. the only thing I can really say. That was my first time talking to, to 4K and that was that was cool. Like, like we yeah, talked via legend. Instagram, but like that was our first time talking, talking type shit. So it's like, right. you know what I mean? I like the, the, the fact that niggas can just talk. It ain't no like yeah. weird type vibe. You feel me? And I don't get yeah, that. Yeah, 100%. Right you know what's crazy about um Jimmy? Uh, like I just met him a little over a year. Like we, we met so it's not like me and they were this dude for like most of my life like mm. probably like last summer a little bit before yeah. that actually and it was like an instant connection like we're the same age which is very rare in a city like this where most of the people that are like talented in this city are like younger they're like 16 17 18 so meeting him i was just like oh shit you're the same age as me. So first of all, our life experiences are going to be similar. You're going to kind of be in the same boat. And then, um, we made, we made one, we made this one song for my project. I I had this project called a wig safe and we made a song on there and it was fire. Like it was crazy. And then, uh, we were just linking up, not even on the music tip. I'll just come check on him, check on his mental. Be good. Make sure everybody good. And then one day I pulled up and um I started chopping this sample up and I'm like yo it's fun at beat I kind of write the song while I'm making the beat so I'm chopping mm. the sample up and I'm telling him hey I'm like this is gonna be a joint like I'm telling y'all right now like we I don't even have the beat tracked out yet I'm telling them like this song is gonna be fire they're like yeah nigga finish the beat blah 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 so I ended up tracking it out. And um, this is when Jimmy, he had a partner who he did videos with because he had a video company, but they're not, they fell out. But we went to this partner. He, we were like, this video, like, shoot it. This shit. And we shot the video, but everybody is turned. Like, everybody's lit. Everybody's either smacked or drunk or something. And then we seen, like, the final product and Jesus was, yo, like, this dude is super talented. Yeah. He's a super good songwriter. Like, even though he doesn't play much, I think he's just like super talented. And we started bonding more creatively. So it's the foundation started with just being a good person, just being like easy to talk to, like going through the same experiences. And then it sort of became a creative talent, talent affect each other. Like I know he has a crazy good eye. He shoots good videos and we kind of just created like our own little link. So like, I'm so happy that you guys got to meet and like link. Cause I know yeah. Rex, you've been fucking with me and Vay for a long, long time. Years. Yeah. I, was back, I was on Twitter like 24 seven. I don't use Twitter that much anymore now, but it's just so interesting to see where we've come from, where we come from. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I agree, bro. I definitely agree, man. It's that's what I was telling 4K. I was like, bro, like to me, it's so wild to just be like a bunch of niggas down here. Like I said, this is my homie Vaz, by the way. Vaz Hayes. Nice he makes to meet music you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna send you some of his shit as well. Um Please do. it's just kind of crazy that like me being in Northern Virginia and y'all being all the way up there in Alvin in New York, and it's like niggas still got no matter what the fucking situation is. Cause we even been to Toledo. We 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 did a show in Toledo, Ohio back in September. And it was like Really? Yo, you know it's crazy. I was just in Toledo like a week ago. Really? <laughs> it's crazy. Wow. Wow. Damn, yeah, that's crazy, bro. Shit. I wish I would have known that. I would have definitely told the homies, but nah, man, it's just wild. It's just like, you know, having like motherfuckers over there to fuck with you to y'all up there fucking with me. Like, it's like, mm-hmm. it's cool. And it's like, the only thing I'm really trying to do is just push niggas and get niggas working, bro. Cause it's like, it's no reason why, you know, people like us that have so much talent should be slept on. Uh, and not to say that we are slept on, we are obviously all have like people that listen to our music, but a wider audience because yeah. the quality's there, man. Like it's there for everybody. Bro, music, it's bro. it's crazy because you know I just overheard what Jimmy was saying to you, like area like this, and actually me and you kind of spoke about this a little bit too. Like here, bro, there's a like big movement coming. These niggas been on a bunch of blogs. On, it's called Glock. Mm. They're moving, and it's not them, like, specifically, but 
if you're not in the mix with people that are like moving in the right direction, people kind of won't hear. Like, so yeah. even if you got the juice, like, I can't tell you how many rooms I've been out here in Albany with people that clearly know, like, I'm the most talented individual in the room, but they'll kind of mm. like, ignore that because they have like their thing jumping on. Like, they have their, their like, they want it to be this. So no matter how talented I am or, like, no matter how many fire beats I make in front of them, no matter how many dope songs I write, they're like, nah, we want it to be this. So we're not going to acknowledge it. And that's how it is here. Like, And I know you said, too. So, like, on the, in that aspect, bro, like, we're on the same accord. Like, the same shit is, you know, people kind of just don't want it to be you. They want it to be them. I guess that's, that's a tendency. But this shit is annoying, bro. Because I'm going to be honest, when I was living in Miami, but I used to live in Miami, I had, bro, we used to live with Smoke, Perp, and Little Punk. Like, they lived in my apartment. I used to show these niggas how to use the studio, like, show them how to make beats and shit. And, like, I kind of saw it then, too. So I know it's just not, like, an area thing. It's not just, like, oh, upstate New York. No, it's a, it's a, like, anybody who's young and, like, has like a thing going they want it to be me. they don't want it to be you and that was a hard lesson for me to learn because i used to take that shit personally i i used to be get tight at me <laughs> but now i know what it is you know? not gonna lie i used to have that mentality like i was like i'm not fucking with nobody else if it's not my homies I feel that. yeah I feel that. this is that, a lot of people are <laughs> like that and I, you get it to an extent right it's like and now that i have like you know my click like the people that i've I kind of feel the same way, but whenever like an inspiring person like sends me some shit, I'm I'm checking it out. I'm like, yo, let me hear it, like, cause it could be some potential shit that's like on the next level, and I have to admit that I have to be okay with myself, where I can be like, this person is clearly more talented than, me. and if that's the case, then I'll admit. It. But of course, all like the opportunities that present itself to me, I'm gonna present to my people. But people kind of take it personally, and they try to like. They try to act like you don't exist. Like, like I said, bro, you yeah. can, you can come here and bro, I can send you every local artist on here. Nobody like and like I'm humble, but nobody's making like rap music than me. And like, they'll all act like I don't exist. It's the funniest shit ever, bro. Like we laugh, bro. You know what's Jimmy you know what's worse? Like, literally laughing, bro. It's like they they treat. It's like when they acknowledge you, but then they treat like everything that you do just doesn't exist. And it's like, but you know I'm there, and, and you see everything I do. Yeah. That should be even worse. And I'd be like, okay. Exactly. Bro, we had this one artist that, like, the city was, like, really trying to push. His Him and his manager came over to Jimmy's crib one day, and we were, like, in the bay. And I was playing Jimmy this project that I finished that never came out. But I'm playing the project, and the manager is telling the artist to, like, he's, like, whispering in the background. You need to him like someone. But the artist is not like he's so angry at that. He's just like ignore. I mean, fuck out of here. I got producers, blah blah. blah. <laughs> Bro, we still oh, laugh about that shit to this day because the manager dead is like, "Are you crazy? Like these beats is fire. Like what are you doing?" And the artist <laughs> is like, nah, like we don't need this dude. And like it's like people really get salty. Like it's the craziest thing. Ever. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's energy dog it's energy man and at the end of the day it's like if you know your shit is pure that's the only thing that matters bro because you get so many people like that like i know people right now that's like making moves and they don't hate but like it's kind of weird how like they went from being so humble and not to say that they still aren't humble but me trying to reach out to them it's right. like damn near impossible now like i got a few homies that i know that's making moves that i hit up i'm like yo uh blah 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 i want to get you on the podcast and then they'll just leave me all red and i'm just like like I, I get you making moves now and you don't work with this big name and that big name but it's like my g like i'm still so hey, that's right. like that shit wild to me so it's like i try like in that sense i don't take it personal but like it's in the same sense of like uh, you know, I'm I may not be I'm not a, a petty person. I've never been a petty person, but I'm always the type of nigga to always remember. I always remember shit. So it's like when I know shit start popping off, it's like I'm gonna remember that you did this. Like, you know, I ain't about to point in your face like ah remember you did this shit. Like, nah. It's just hey, don't hit me saying that I'm acting different. 
I'm not. Right. I'm being the same fucking person. It's like I'm just. I remember with the shit that you did. That's all. It and is. you acted different first, nigga. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> you, <laughs> nigga. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> acted different. Yeah, that's we was nice. cool. That's nice. And oh, we know a lot shit. of people that's done going to like do decent stuff from our area. On, I'm pretty sure they probably told you. Like, I don't know if you remember Rob Stone, his biggest song. Chill. Yeah. That producer is from Albany, bro. He's from Albany. We really. Like, I, Yes, he's from you the that dude song? that. Yeah. What'd you say? Yeah. Yeah, That's bro. Crazy. That producer is from Albany. He's from That's here, crazy. and I he's still producing that. for people. Another, um, he also made the beat. You ever heard the song by Soldier Boy, uh, Jay Z and Drake? Nigga, we made. Dun, 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 dun. Like, yeah, it came yeah, out, yeah. bro. That pro- he's from Albany. Oh, Same producer crazy. from Albany. Uh, there's another producer. His name is Money. Mo- he lived on um, he lives i don't know where he live at now but he's d- been on a bunch of hits too but you know we never really knew them personally but every time like we would see people moving it's kind of like they did they would leave or move on to the next level which i guess you can't really shame them for but it kind of sucks because it's like yo what if they had back and was like yo i'm putting everybody on or you know something of that nature but i guess you kind of just gotta live with that you kind of gotta just get it on yeah, but if they had, they'd probably still be making moves. That's a fact. Yeah, and and I'm not, and that's not even me saying like they're not, or I'm like hating, or like I expected them to do something more. I'm just saying like if, when I get to I'll never stop fucking with people. Yeah, and not even yeah. to say they did that specifically. I don't know what their way of thinking was I'm trying to be like that. Somebody hitting me up, and I'm just like I'm not hitting them back. Or, Especially if it's the real deal, if it's serious, if you see talent. I feel that, brother. I definitely feel that, man. Um, but what's the what's the name of your you guys' podcast for, so I can shout it out for sure? Uh, if you go, it's on twitch.tv slash okay. akimmel underscore films. I'll send that shit to you via Instagram. Uh, but we we are um, it's painting with friends. But I'm gonna send you the the Twitch. Oh yeah, we tagged you on IG. So yeah, got yeah, you. Just you. followed everything. Got you. Thank you. Crystal said, that. "Y'all dope ass artists. Y'all time is coming." Thank Yo, you, Crystal. Thank Appreciate you. that. Um, very briefly, uh, old man, uh, do you have any last things that you want to say? We we are probably gonna wrap up a little bit. Wanted to get a few words in with Vay before we wrap it up. But do you have anything important that you want to say? Any? I posted your link to your Spotify and your mm. Instagram. But anything that you need to say to the people, real quick. Um. Not much, you know. I really don't like to talk much. <laughs> I really, I'm really bad at Instagram. Like I'm just now getting good, and that's because they and Jim, you like, yo, you gotta be, you gotta be. You know, that's fact. But just like, look out for new music. Like we coming with the, we coming with the sauce. Um, love and you know, just keep living and keep doing the best you can. That's really all I can can give. And um, I give a for you guys, so you know he can say he got. Oh, one last question to you, uh, old man. Sure thing. Since your name is Old Man Sipping, what does Old Man Sip? Yeah. Wait, what'd you say? I couldn't hear you. I said, last question. Since your name is Old Man Sipping, what does Old Man Sip? Oh, gosh. Um, That's a good-ass question. I ain't even going to hold you. Because <laughs> um, I sip a lot. And I probably got about two and a half to three more years of sipping a lot, like the way I'll be sipping, but. Yeah. Pretty much anything. I sit I drink um I like E and J. I know that's kinda like the the forty year old black guy drink. <laughs> yeah. But I like <laughs> yeah, that is. Um, I really don't care for Henny that much. I like Bailey's. I like uh what else? What else is my that's that's probably my top two. And then as far as beer, um I drink Druthers. That's more of a local brewery, so you got know it out there. Um I drink stouts and porters. I only really like dark beers. I drink L's like that. I feel um, that. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, I saw that IPA on your Instagram the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, that's that's my go-to. If I'm if I'm yeah. trying to get away from them, that sugar, that's with the IPA. I feel that, brother. You like sour beers? Yeah, do you fuck with sour beers? Um, Every now and then I can do it. Every now, I like to stick what I like. Though I like to stick to what works for me. You know, I feel yeah. that. I feel that. But yeah, old, old man sipping definitely sips. That's not just the title. I'll be sipping. 
<laughs> nah, man, we appreciate you so much, Playboy. Thank you so much for coming through, G. Uh, I definitely appreciate it, bro. We definitely going to be no, on the lookout. No man. doubt, man. I appreciate you guys, too. Here go Vay. Put him back on. All right, bro. Peace out, man. All right, Vay. Uh... I don't want to keep you up too much. I just had like just like a few more questions and I'll let you go, brother. Yeah, man, definitely. Um, first and foremost, I just want to say that I love the camaraderie that all of y'all have, bro, because What's it shows nasty? that you guys are really trying to do something with your sound and, and with your music, bro. And whether or not it's just music, but just the camaraderie and, and the vision that you guys have. I want to see more videos, nigga. <laughs> oh, no. Did we lose him again? You yelled at him. He Shit. Left. He yelled at him and left. Fuck. Hello? We there? We good? Yeah, yeah, we good. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Did you hear what I said? We love the camaraderie. You want to see video? Yeah. That, that was, that's basically Yeah. Now, we got to get... We're definitely trying to get... Actually, go man, we're just talking about that shit. Literally. Visuals. Trying to plan that out. Um, huh. I do got to get more videos. I'm going to treat this visual... This uh project definitely... A little more delicately when it comes to visuals. I definitely feel like a couple songs require, they're going to require videos. It's just yeah. getting the quality to be where it should be for the song itself. Of course. Ashy is so upset. He's like, I missed the whole interview. I was like, oh, yeah. Ashy just came in this show? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Ashy said like, he, missed, he missed the whole thing. But my phone is almost dead. That's your phone. Bro, that's a fact. Yeah, bro, I missed a lot, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry that I have not been paying attention to the chat, guys. My you should let me know phone. sooner. I got, like, laptops. I got two yeah, phones. Yeah, my phone's been, like, dying and shit. Uh, let tablets. me see what everybody's saying. Uh, LaFlame said what's good. Crystal came in here and said, yo. You're um, Pink said nothing at all by far. Da, 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 da. I was going to take a break. Da, 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 da. Chris said, y'all some dope-ass artists. Y'all time is coming. Ryan agreed with that. Uh, Mo said, everybody in the room, everybody in the chat who has a creative outlet and talent of any kind. Uh, Ashy said, yo. My homie Super said, yo. Yo. Uh, what's good? I missed the interview. <laughs> you missed pretty much a good portion of it, Ashy. You yes, but the whole I mean, it's thing. the end, but it's all good, bro. We you got it all for later, thing. so you can kind of watch it. But no. watch it. Yeah, you can watch it on YouTube. Yeah, we're going to upload it on YouTube as well. Um, so, yeah, that'll get a lot more things for him. So, but yeah, no. Nah, um, one thing I just want to say, Van, I told you this many times, bro. Like, all jokes aside, bro, I think you're like a very fucking, uh, uh, I said it last time, an eclectic artist. I think what you're doing up there is that keep believing in your fucking self, bro. Like, this ain't no motivational for me to be like, my nigga, like, but it's dead serious, bro. Well, I think I what you're doing is amazing. I think that you, to me, uh, is. Uh, one of one of my favorite artists that I've ever actually worked with and that I think that if you just keep putting material out, just keep putting shit out, that something's going to pop for you, bro. Because, like, literally, you get a lot of niggas that's out here, and, and, and I know at times, like, we both, we get in our head when it comes to music. But at yeah. the same time, it's like, you know, sometimes we may put some shit out and it may hit, like, a bunch of views. And sometimes we may put some shit out and it's only a few people listening to it. Mm -hmm. But one thing, I don't ever want you to let that shit discourage you because, yeah. you know, I fuck with you. Crystal fuck with you. Dre fuck with you. Ashley fuck with you. We literally, Vaz fuck with you. We literally Thanks. said that you got some good music, bro. You make your own beats. A lot of niggas don't make, a lot of niggas nowadays starting to make their own beats, but you've been doing it for a while, bro. Um, and, and, and that shit is, is a special talent, bro. So everything that you're doing, bro, especially with dropping the project, dog, you got niggas looking. I've been telling a lot of niggas about you, so it's like you got more eyes on you than you think now. Motherfuckers Word. may not always gravitate toward it immediately, bro, but we here, dog. I got your back, if anything. I, I definitely appreciate that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try to get out my head with it. Yeah, that's where, we, that's where the cycle begins. You got to just got to keep doing it. You can't care about it. You just got to fight that that's where it comes all comes full circle. That's a fact. Uh, Pink said, "Damn, you make your own beats." Yes, he makes his own beats. Uh, my homie Super said, "I fucks with you." Uh, Pink said, "I'ma spread your name like I spread you means." That's what's up. Um, let's, wow, uh, yo. yeah. Let's uh play this last song real quick. What's the last song? Uh oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. god. Yeah, so let's, let's bump. Oh my god. Oh my god. For the people. One time. For the one time. Yeah. Honestly, like most of the time, I'm like, I'm black out when I'm recording. Okay, not all the time. Like, just, like, 
Trust 95% me, of the time. 95%. And I don't think it's a problem. I really, I really don't. I'm, I'm responsible and I, I, I leave my keys elsewhere. No, I was not. Under skin like a deep massage. Got these hooks like a tackle box. I'm in a bush if I smoke the hops. I know it hurts like a tender spot. Come crashing down like a cinder block. Some type of rums on these cold rocks. Don't fuck with me, I'll show you what you not. Yeah, whoa. Oh my gosh. Look around, son, it's something odd. I was flipping burgers like my name was Bob. Had to focus up and learn to play the odds. Sinister like I'm Sweeney Todd. Looking for a blanket like you gave me Bob. Got the sticky green like I grow the crop. This boy is staying. We need a mop. Whoa, boy, boy. Switch it up, we can't take a lot. Yeah, oh my gosh. Man's through the one I'm taking off. Boy, boy. Switch it up, we can't take a lot. Yeah, oh my gosh. Man's through the one I'm taking off. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Moving quiet, packing something ruthless. Talking crazy and you wagging stupid. Turn on Mortal Kombat, Leo Paz patrolling. Let me see the truth from a focused story. I'm a master student. Now you talking flagrant and you acting foolish. And I beat you scheme like I solved a remix. Think a nigga still believe in Cupid? Wake up, you must be dreaming. Lose it. Pay cuts, want the cash and fuck, bitch. Upgraded, new phone. Who that? Sack money, splurge out. Do it. Lucky me, I don't give two shits. Too much sauce, too much drip. Lots of us don't let it go. Switch it up, we can't take a lot. Yeah, oh my gosh. For the one I'm taking on. Au revoir. Switch it up, we can't take a lot. Yeah, oh my gosh. For the one I'm taking on. Au revoir. Switch it up, we can't take a lot. Yeah, oh my gosh. For the one I'm taking on. Au revoir. Switch it up, we can't take a lot. Yeah, oh my gosh. I got it, man. I got I got a crap shit on the screen. Yeah, his beats are different, bro. His beats are amazing. That's what I said earlier. I was like, and I mean no offense when I said his beats are weird. That's no offense. That's a good thing. Like when I say oh, no, I think have that. a a di- like a, a like a different tone to him than what you usually. Hear. I know what you meant by weird. Yeah, like you can't yeah. Describe it, I know. So, yeah. You know what's funny about that? That was, that was a baby from Yoshi's Island. Are you serious? You said yeah, what? that was the beat That's from Yoshi's Island. Was it was a sample. Oh, oh yeah, you let me hear that beat a while ago. I forgot about that shit. Yeah, I played oh. it in the PS4 party, and Manny was Manny made a, a funny joke, and I was actually baby. yeah, baby Bowser. Mm. Mm. That's crazy. Oh shit, man. Look, press play just got back. What's good, Mo said? I knew it sound familiar. I just posted once again all of his links as well. Um, that's his Instagram. The SoundCloud is where the new project is. Fear none, conquer all. He also streams on Twitch, so I posted that as well. Uh, very briefly, uh, before my phone dies, we also interviewed his cousin, who is old man sipping as well. Old man also has a Instagram. And a, a, a Spotify as well, so please check him out. I'll post his shit in there again. Um, but yeah, uh, Vay, we've been having fun interviewing, man. I really appreciate you coming through, bro, and agreeing Thank to you do so this, much, dog. bro. Yeah, and you know, man, I appreciate y'all having. It's been it's been a great, great ass, you know interview. I appreciate it. it's my first one actually. That's been about me, so I thank y'all for the opportunity. Of oh course, God. man. It's, it's, it's funny because we get a lot of that. Like, lately we've been getting a lot of that where people have been like, yo, this is my first, like, interview. And it's like, it feels it That's feels amazing. good. Yeah, it That's feels amazing. good to be like, all right, yeah, man, we the, we the, we the first one. Like, you know, no homo, we popped your cherry. That's no, what's hey, up. That's we not, out this no, bit, bro. Like, not... <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Uh, you know. We popped cherries. We popped hey, cherries. Uh, That's what we doing, Hey, man. yo. But nah, man. <laughs> Um, you got any last things you want to say to the people? Any shout outs you want to do? Anything else that you want to talk about, brother? You know what I'm saying? Just be on the lookout for everything we you know, we uh we're definitely working. It's your boy Dope is Bay, you know, the I S V A Y. Follow me everywhere. Follow old man seven old man four K Twitter, Instagram. Pay attention, you know, just come dopeness. You guys will enjoy it.
Appreciate that, bro. Well, shit. I know. Uh, fuck, man. I, that was a great interview. I had fun doing this. That was, this was like, amazing. Bro, we definitely got to do more. I mean, um, guys, this is another fucking episode. All the shit. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Yeah, this is another episode of real shit. My phone just died. That's how I know it's yeah, real. Yeah, guys, my phone about to die. I'm gonna All right, bro. My shit dies, yo. Peace out, Vay, man. Be Peace easy, dude. brother. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another glorious episode of Painting with Friends or, you know, uh, interview that we had with Dopest Vay. Um, well, before anything, though, did you have any last things you wanted to say, brother? Um, no, we're ending early today. Um, we're having a pop up on Thursday for our cloud clothing merch. We recently just dropped our spring fashion line. I'm adding more clothing to that today, and I got to go home and do that. And just some promotions, and I'm setting up for shows on the 8th. Um, it's going to be centered around all the cliques of Northern Virginia. If I can get all the cliques of Northern Virginia to agree to it. Am I perform? Yes. Okay. You're under our clique. I didn't know. You're under your Kim with Mims clique. Okay, cool. Uh, painting with friends always the best part of Mondays. We appreciate that, brother. Um, once again, do we have anybody that we're raiding? I would pull something up, but my fucking phone is died. My fucking phone just died. Yeah, we're ending early today. Yeah, but we no. Nah, thank you guys for coming through, bro. It went to like thirteen people in here to like ten to eleven to nine. Yeah, let's raid. Let's raid rage. I like rage. Uh, so we're out of here. But hey, man, you guys have a great fucking Monday. Be kind to each other. Be nice to each other. Don't text and drive. Don't twitch and drive. And uh, bump that and buck. That buck buck. Bump that shit as much as you can, please. I will. I really would appreciate that. And also bump my homie Dopest Vay Project, Fear None, Conquer All. And also bump Vaz Hayes, Sleep Paralysis as well. And a thousand dicks coming and soon. And a thousand dicks part two is coming soon. So we appreciate you guys so much. Y'all stay beautiful out here. Show them real quick. Show everybody what we're working uh, with, shit man. Crazy. Shit crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. We out this beer. <laughs> We out this beer. This should look like a comic book. I'm pretty I've happy been looking it. at this camera and we at this camera. What the fuck am I doing? We out, guys. Yeah, Thousand Dicks is the name of the track, part two. It'll be out soon. <laughs>